<laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to 3D6 Down the Line. We have a full house again today with an exceptionally large David. Uh, we are playing episode 46 of the Halls of Arden Vool Mega Dungeon by Richard Barton using the old school central system by Gavin Norman. Going around the horn, we have. Hi, I'm Mike. I play Gorin, the fifth level dwarf. Hi, I'm David. I play Onweir, the uh, fourth level illusionist. I'm Matt. I play Avaricios, the sixth level cleric and left hand of Lysion. Hi, I'm Ted. I play Mortus J. Gobliano, fifth level goblin, and now also apparently a dog. <laughs> yes. Yes, there are two Mortuses walking around now. There's actually a real live dog that's been named after Ted's character, which is amazing. No you, greater honor. You know you've made it. You know you. <laughs> I have made it. I <laughs> made our stamp on things when a dog's been named after you. Next step, a child. <laughs> I'm here for that. No, please, no one name your child. Please, don't, please, don't, please don't, yeah, it's way too much of a, of a burden. It does seem us. a little bit much. Yeah. Although it almost guarantees that John will never kill your character. <laughs> you say that yet? Okay. Mm. Um, all right. So we know it's not true. It's session 46, episode 46, and we are uh, in very rare case. I think this is the first time we've actually stopped in the middle of combat. Um, maybe yeah. we did it back in Dolmenwood. I can't really remember. But anyways, mm -hmm. uh, we are in the midst of combat. They are in the chambers of uh, what appears to be like a cult or a sect that worshipped, worshipped an Archontian sect that worshipped Arden. Um, and they discovered that uh, there was some sort of mutiny or civil war that broke out in these halls where Legion Legionnaire fought Legionnaire. Um, they have made their way to a uh, an oct octagonal chamber that had a seat dedicated to each one of the 20 worthies. And uh, they discovered that behind the seat of Fokayan, the builder, there was a secret entrance that led to the north out of the room. However, when Gorin decided, uh, uh, opened up the seat that belonged to Arden or Vool? Uh, it Vool. was the one Vool. on the left. Yeah. Um, and he found a ring inside and he took that ring that a whispering voice that had been sort of bugging them while they investigated the room manifested as a vicious black smoke wreathed vengeful spirit um, claiming them to be betrayers and uh, desecrators and um, has been attacking them and things have not been going well as they discovered. Uh, because of my retcon during the combat, um, that, it, that plus one magic weapons don't seem to do the trick. Neither did turning. And this thing is super pissed off. So the situation we're in right now, we have the spirit is blocking. Well, actually, let's, uh, I'm going to bring this up for folks at home. So the spirit is blocking the uh, double doors out of here. Zoom in a little bit here for folks. Blocking the double doors out of there, there. Um, the rest of the party is basically arrayed in a hemisphere around the spirit and is attacking them. Uh, Avaricios has stepped back to allow Nyal to protect him, and then Onweir is all the way in the back, actually standing in the uh, uh, the uh, Fokayan's seat that has popped open, leading to the north. So he's actually literally, but there are two of him, two, um, not just one giant one, two normal ones uh, that he because he has cast mirror image. On himself as well. This. Oh, and I think that's where we're at. And we just ended the round. The creature has not been hurt yet. Okay. We might have like hurt his cry. feelings. And I think it's hit Nyal once. And Nyal managed. Uh, no, that no, was, oh, was uh, Gorin. 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 Hit Gorin, Gorin once. Yeah. Yeah. And Gorin I took uh, one point of strength damage and I took three hit three points worth of damage. Points, yeah. Okay. So that's where we're at. So we're just going to start right in the middle of combat. Um, so declaring that's spells. Top of the round, right? Top of the round. Declaring yeah. spells and declaring melee movement. Anybody? All right. So uh, Nyal, is in, Nyal is in melee. So he's going to do a, uh, a fighting retreat. Uh, fighting retreat. Fighting withdrawal. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Anybody else moving out of melee? I, I'm going to do a fighting withdrawal. Okay. And um, I'll put my kind of weapon down on my side, but my shield is still kind of up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone else pulling away? Yost, um, Mort. So Yost and Mort um, will also do that. But what I'm wondering is, you know, so we're arrayed, as you say, in a, in a 
semicircle around the spirit. Mm-hmm. Um, that, and that's Goran, Yal, Yost, and Mort. Can we move in such a way that we like we're moving to its its sides, sort of closer to the double door, giving it clear path to being able to see that the ring has been thrown back towards its yeah, hiding place. You can move wherever you want. So okay. right. you just can't move out. So, yeah. The idea being to like clear out of its way so that it can move past the rostrum back towards its its corpse host. Okay. And I don't want to be in its way. Now the ring and the scroll were both tossed to Onweir, right? Mm-hmm. Onweir, are you yeah, holding I, them right now? I placed them a couple turns back. I placed them in the uh, bench, right. and okay. I'm, I was on my knees praying for forgiveness. Yeah, and then I then I left okay. to the uh, door. Okay, cool. All right, so no spells being cast. So we got everyone fighting withdrawal. Uh, why don't we roll for initiative, please? <laughs> I got it. I got a four. Ah. Or two. Okay. It's a really so good every team. time. Every time. Yeah. So um I'm not seeing the die rolls. Is that a problem? Uh I don't it know. It doesn't matter, Mike. We we're we're always doing bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> oh, never mind. I just needed to catch up on my computer. Okay, so I okay. think it's equally pissed at everybody, um, because uh you're you're crowding it. So I'm not gonna have it focus all of its wrath on Gorn. So let's be uh equal opportunity employer here. We've got um, mm. one, two, three, four. Or what's Elizabeth doing, by the way? Uh, Elizabeth is back. Cask. She's got the cask. She is by Avaricius. So they're both kind of like step back. Step back. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we have Gorned, Mort, um, Yost, y'all. and Y'all, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so D4, here we go. Uh, I rolled a what? A three? So that is going to be Yost. Y'all. Oh, it was Yost? Okay. I say no, Yost, or... not Yost. Okay, Yost, here we go. Bum, ba, da, dum, bum, bum. And um... Yost is armor class 12. Ah. <laughs> and... Wait, you armored up? No. No, you guys talked me out of it. <laughs> we talked him I out of it. Not. I would never do that. John <laughs> specifically said hey. he would be very sad if, if Yost were closed. Elizabeth wanted I, to I, see I... the peck show. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's true. Uh, but he, he <laughs> easily misses. I only rolled a four. So he was distracted uh, by the peck show. Yeah, he screams and comes down upon Yost, but Yost uh, uh, tumbles out of the way. All right, uh, that was its turn. It's your turn now. So movement first. So everyone scatters. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah, we we parts to give him a clear vision of the uh, the uh, items that have been returned. Okay, so it. Uh, it sort of um, it like rears up and kind of billows out with all with you know all of its blackness and it uh, screams like a, out, outwards and it goes betrayers desecrators and it and it floats forward into the middle of the room hanging above like the ash pit and it's like looking all around and it seems to focus then on Vool's seat and um, you see it suddenly kind of. Uh, it, it basically like dies back into the corpse, which you think it's mm-hmm. probably, you know, what it used to be. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, for a second, it stays there and then it kind of bursts forth again. And it, um, and it says, get out, get out. Okay. Solid. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got you, dude. Bye. <laughs> yeah. What now, the question is, is does Anwir get out by going up that northern corridor or not? I was going to look, at least look into it and see what I see before moving. I mean, is it fair to say since I'm standing there, I can look down the corridor, John? You can look down the corridor, yeah. Uh, so you can see that there is a 10-foot long corridor heading to the north, um, and then it immediately turns to the left. So it's like 20 feet long total? Yeah, yeah. So there's like a, it's like an L. Um, now, uh, you can see that in that corner in the L and then beyond around the corner to the West, um, it is lined with an insane amount of treasure. (laughs) Yeah. Um, it's basically like, like lined with tables and there is just, just an insane amount of stuff like jewelry and 
um, coins, a cauldron holding a bunch of coins, huge bars of gold, pouches, baskets, boxes, powder, porcelain. So bad, bro. We're not going to be able to carry that shit out anyway. We have the bag. We have the sack of Laurel. But we are in the midst of combat, uh, so you guys did not attack that round. So you are out of melee. Does anyone want to cast spells at the top of the round? Uh, We we haven't uh, done our turn yet. You moved. Yeah, we moved. Well, you did the in combat move. I haven't. I haven't done my out of combat movement yet. What are you doing? Yeah, Avarisia still has a movement. I want to run back down to those double doors and open them up so that we have a clear uh, exit out of here. Wow, is it cool? Uh, also, yes. John, is it fair to say that my looking is not a movement? I'm just looking. Yes. Yeah, or fine. is that okay? Then yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry a little bit and then follow these guys. <laughs> uh, yeah. Lis- Lisbeth will come with me as well. Okay. All right. So, so basically, yeah. what happens is we back off from the spirit. It jumps back into the corpse, and we all book it. Well, you basically. you. You used your movement to to scatter. Avaricious right. uses his movement to open up the door to probably to probably right. egress. Now we're at the bottom of the round, so no one is in no one is in melee. Is anyone going to cast a spell? No, no. Okay, so roll for initiative. I got a four. I'll do it this time. Okay. See, that's how you do it. That is how oh, you do it. Yeah, yeah, nice. Okay. Yeah. So you guys win. It's movement first. What do you do? I would like to leave, yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to leave the room. Okay, everyone leaves, and then where do you where do you plan to go? Uh, I would like to shut the, the doors. doors. Shut the doors, and yeah, uh, uh, I think we go east. I think let's shut the doors and then wait a second. And like, does it continue to do anything? Do we hear moaning and screaming spirits from elsewhere? You guys speculated that other corpses might be spookified, which. We should listen you, for it before you, we start walking around. It's it's like second to second right now. So you like you, I'm going to say like right. at this point you've you've all ran out of the room. Someone slammed the door, and you quickly okay. are just like for one second before you decide where to go. You listen carefully. You don't hear anything yeah. out here in the corridors. Okay, okay. I run you east. could still hear uh, the the spirit screaming in the room. Uh, yeah. Let's go east because we were talking about getting needing rest anyway. So I think we should go to that. Um, the bunk room, which with no corpses in it. Okay, so you can. Oh, we have to pass corpses, corpses to get there, though. Hmm. So this round, the only you guys are moving thing. thirty feet. So you guys are right yeah. here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you guys book it to the. Sorry, go ahead, David. No, 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 no. Go, go. Okay, so you book it to the east as far as you can go during this round. Remember, we're in rounds, yeah. not turns, right now because we're in combat. Yeah. The head of the vengeful spirit pushes its way out of the double doors. And does like that Ghostbusters thing, like the librarian, where it just like becomes like, like <laughs> just you know, and it's, it, it reaches out and, and basically flies horizontally at you, grasping with its claws. You will I, not escape. Oh my god! Okay. Just to get out. <laughs> I'm, wor- right. I'm worried. Group vote, right? The only path that doesn't have potential more spookies is through the statue room and the hole that y'all climbed. That's up what in. I was just thinking too. Do we dude. just run into there? I mean, not that I don't know where that'll lead us, but it might be. It's the only place where we don't follow like nine legionnaires. Okay, so Does that makes sense. If you really think the other corpses are spookified, you're absolutely right. That's the only way out of here that doesn't pass a corpse. I just know. don't know. Even if, yeah. sorry, go ahead, John. It's its turn. Right. So yeah. it's, it's going to go. Who would naturally, I know I should have asked this before it came out, but uh, who would naturally have been in the back? I would have probably done rear guard. Okay. I mean, it would have been, so not Av and not uh, Elizabeth and not um, Onward because they were ahead, moving yeah, ahead of the other four yeah. of us. Um, Gordon, I mean, taking you, one for I the would, team? I'll take one for the team. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Uh, no, it does not hit. So, um, I'm rolling low on my D20s. Jesus. Okay. So, yeah. It's okay. It's all right. Um, you, you hold up your shield, um, as you, as you beat a retreat, you're like screaming to your companions to go, go, go. Um, and you fend it off this round. So that was the bottom of the round. Top of the round. Gorin now was in melee. Do you want to declare melee movement, Gorin? Yeah, I'll do. I'll continue my fighting withdrawal down the corridor. Fighting withdrawal only. So that's half movement. You understand? Yep. Okay. Um, no, any spells being cast? Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm ca- yeah, casting improved Phantasmal Force. Okay, cool. All right, roll for initiative, please. I got a one. Good for me. 
Go, David. I'm going to uh, cast an roll initiative. Roll initiative. I oh, roll. Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah, I got so excited. <laughs> <laughs> that never happens. That's so weird, dude. Uh, yeah, never hey. was. Okay, there we go. You guys win, right. so it's move first. So that this is includes the declared melee movement plus your normal move. So just anyone who plans to move, tell me what you do. I do have a question though, real quick, and this is just about um, Onward can't move and cast a spell. That's correct. And I don't want to move past him, John. Okay. So mm -hmm. if 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 I can't if my movement would take me past him, I will stop right in front of him between him and the beast. I love you. Okay, so you're gonna you're basically only gonna be able to move fifteen feet. So I'll give you like two squares. Okay. You know what I mean? More or yep. less. I mean, right. we're, we're doing theater of the mind here. So, I um, mean, on we were probably have been near the front because they was ushered through the double doors. Yeah. Right? Um, so, uh, okay. So, Mort's on, going to, where are the rest of you guys moving? Mort's going to stand with Gorand. He'll move at the same rate and he'll, because he can maybe actually hurt this thing. So, okay. Right. And um, Avaricious will, uh, will stay, um, 10 feet back to make sure that they stay within the uh that extra glow that uh Jochen's casket mm -hmm. is giving mm -hmm. yeah so um yeah avaricious and lisbeth will stay about like 10 feet back behind uh behind the group that's up with him okay All right. so no one else is moving basically yeah it looks like we're kind of stopping so that honor can cast a spell and okay um we can fight a little bit Okay, so no missile weapons are happening, so it's uh, spell casting on where. I'm gonna cast a illusory monster, and it's going to be a uh, big sedite, I suppose. Well, let me let me double check description, so I'm not making assumptions. Uh, 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 monster has an AC of seven in parentheses twelve, and will vanish if hit in combat. Yeah, that's it. So you I'm look like whatever you want. Look whatever I, I think it look like any monster I want. Define monster, sense. I guess. But no. David, no, could your visual. monster be holding anything interesting, maybe? Yeah, it's a great idea. I love this. Okay, yeah. so I'll cast an illusion of a, uh, uh, yeah, like a, my a, swarth, a, a, like, a swarthy setite, you know, with a, uh, okay, having just yeah. seen the, having just seen the artifacts with, with the ring in their hand, you know. Mm-hmm. Standing right there, like betwixt us, right in its face. So I want it to be exactly, so it doesn't move, right? I want it to be exactly in front of him. Okay. And maybe it, maybe it won't know it's immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Do ghosts okay. believe illusions? Who knows? <laughs> okay. So this, uh, yeah, this uh, setite. Is it, it a warrior or a, or a priest or setite warrior? A yeah, warrior. Okay. It. So it's like a red a scaled, red red mm -hmm. armored um, setite. Uh, appears right in the eventual spirit's face. Goran, you you kind of take a step back and surprises this thing sort of like manifests and looks absolutely real. Um, uh, we'll assume on we were probably keyed you guys off that I'm about to cast an illusion. Um, and uh, now it's melee. Is uh, Goran? Do you Goran and Mort actually? Do you want to attack yeah. it? Uh, I thought we were yeah. fighting withdrawal. No. Well, you you were, but the idea was to protect everybody else. Yeah, no, I moving. understand that, but I, I think, thought we'd already declared the fighting withdrawal and that we moved up to David. So, oh, you did. Okay. That's pretty much yeah. that's our you deal. Did. So you that's moved fine. a little bit. Yeah. I, I didn't fine. declare that. I said Mort moved into combat to stand next to you and prevent this thing from passing. Well, if he's if oh. you're standing next to Gorn, then and Gorn moved back, then you guys aren't in melee. If that's where you'd not, if you'd rather not be in melee, that's fine. I think that's what we should do, Ted. Yeah, that was the you, plan. The, yeah, the front line moved back a little bit. The back yeah. line kind of stayed there. That's the way yeah. Okay. Fine. Just, just, just a bit of caveat to inform everyone's decision making. I cannot move while I cast this spell. So right. what's going to happen is I'm going to cast it for a round, and I'm going to pop the invisibility cloak immediately afterwards. Yeah. So you should, you should run. Is what I'm saying. Like, because we're not going to buy distance. Yeah, but we have to run it... next turn. Yeah. yeah. No, no. That's what I'm saying. Next, yeah. next okay. turn. I'm just prefacing it. by like next turn. Yeah. But once, so the front line, once front line you move back, spell, and now there's a set move. that's in front of it. Um, I, and I can't yeah. move once I've cast it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So this thing appears and then, um, that was the top of the round, right? So now it's, it's turn. Um, yeah. okay. So it, uh, so the set I think appears in front of it, David, and I know this is a bummer. It does. Okay. It just moves like right through it. And yeah. like the set, I just yeah. kind of vaporizes. Um, it appears totally to have not even registered that the thing even existed. 
<laughs> I love um, it. And, I love and it. it. Just it just moves right through it, um, and uh, it's going to uh, bear down upon either Gorned or Mort. Um, I will roll a. Uh, you know what, John? Y'all would be part of that frontline group as well, so y'all should be in the. I'm going to say that, that only two people can hold the ten foot quarter abreast. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be one of those two. Uh, you. you Y'all can switch next round with either person if they if they if he wants. All right. Okay. Here you go. One to three is Gorn. Four to six is Mort. Gorn. Here we go. Oh my god, man! I have not rolled higher than like what a seven. Okay. So David, uh, one thing to think about here is if it wasn't tricked by your illusion, it might not be tricked by your um invisibility. invisibility I think I think you're right. I think you're. That's but he a can run now. Point. He doesn't have to maintain the spell. Yeah. Okay. So it uh, it it wrenches at Gorn and Gorn. Once again, you put up your shield again, and it and it says to you, "Goes, I Eustace declare you betrayer." Eustace. Eustace. That, Eustace was um. Eustace. Uh, that was the dude. That was the um. God damn it! Come on. We ran across that. Come on, Mike. I count on you. <laughs> um. Was I it remember too. Wasn't that he wasn't the Pentarch? Arch- he was yes. not the Archon. He was, yes. he was the Archon. No, 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 not the Archon. David got it. He was the he was the Pentarch, the, He's uh, the Pentarch, cursed yeah. Pentarch. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So um we're in the midst of combat, of course, but if you know that that's the Pentarch and he died <laughs> in, in the cloisters with spears, and so you can start to maybe piece together some shit. Anyways, right now, this is in your face. Guarding this sacred um, relic. Okay, so he's uh, toe-to-toe time. with Gorn right now. That's the end of the round. So uh, declaring uh, melee movement, that would only be Gorn right now. Or Gorn and Mort. Gorn uh, and, Mort. And, and I will do a fighting withdrawal again. Or, John, I'm sorry, and if I just do the full retreat, then I move my full movement, correct? You move your full movement, but then it gets a bonus to attack you because you're not putting up any defense. Right. What is the bonus? Like plus 10, plus 2? Plus 2. Uh, I think we should book it, guys. What do you think? Book it. Book it. Yeah. Okay. We just book gotta it. go. Um, full move. It's it's it is faster than us, though. Okay. So Morton Gorn are declaring full retreats, and the rest of you guys are going to move on your movement phase. Um, yeah, and, we're going to have to book it. Yeah. Okay. That's all I need to know. Right. Other than any spells being cast. No. Okay. No. Roll for initiative. I'm left. I got a three. Oh, on got out. He's spent. Okay. Ah. Ah. Okay. I won with the three. They got a two, and it's coming down, and let's see who it attacks. Four. It's going for Mort this time as it swings around. Um, hey, can I give my proxy to Tettles, and I'll go tuck in my kids? Okay. Um, Mort, I All think right. that's probably a miss for you as well. You, I am. Yeah, my D20 six. is cursed. You guys are very, oh, very lucky. What did you say the bonus was? A plus two? If, uh, for the fighting for oh, the fighting retreat. withdrawal, that's true. Um, yeah, but it also has the minus one for the protection from evil from Yakin's bones. Um, so it's still miss. Okay, uh, so Great. uh, as yeah, as you turn to go and uh, you fly, okay, so it misses. You guys are fully retreating, right? There's no other action being taken except for a fucking book, right? Did yes. uh, one question I can't remember, did Yost try to get him with his spear? Yes. Like, did Yost? Uh, did it hit or did he just miss? I don't um, remember. It's a plus one spear. So, but, I mean, but did, he, but did he, was it a miss or did he hit and it wasn't effective? Do you remember? No, it was a miss. I missed twice with Yost. Because I, I wonder, like, if the thing's body died with spears, is there something maybe with spears? Okay. I sincerely doubt it. Let's so, just run. You guys are running. Um, just, and yes, David. I just, when everyone starts to run, I still have mirror image up. I'd like to fall to the back of the line because I have a disposable hit. So I think, okay. I think y'all should keep going and I'm going to be a sponge. Okay. okay? So you, guys you can't your- be a sponge. Like it's a 50, 50, right? And then if you get hit, you're just dead. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So the last round, whenever, um, uh, Mort and Goran withdrew, they moved withdrew to here. Okay. Then. Um, you're going to do a full withdraw, a full retreat, which means you can move your right. entire movement rate, which is 30. Um, so you guys move back to there at the end of the round. Um, right. and, and I'll do that. I'll do that thing with um, uh, uh, Avaricios and Elizabeth. We're 10 feet back to keep them in the radius. Right. Yeah. You're like in the center of the group, basically. Got it. Okay. Uh, so 
uh, everyone is out of melee and has retreated. And um, is anyone going to cast a spell? No one. Oh. No more, right? Okay. No. Uh, all right. Roll for initiative. I got a one. Oh, I'll do it. I got a five. Five. <laughs> okay. Movement first. Um. Well, yeah, we, we continue. We go around the corner to the south and head for the Hall of Worthies. Or does Mort stand and deliver and slay this thing all on his own? Run. 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 Okay. Run. 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 You guys move I, 30. I owe it to that poor little dog to stay alive. All right. It moves up. Um, and it's uh, now I'm going to make a roll to see if it even notices that Onweir has a double. Oh. Oh, that's right. Um, it, I, I, I missed that hint. <laughs> so it, <laughs> Oops. It, 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 it screams down on, on Weir and it disregards his double and goes right for the real one. Oh, oh. does oh. a 15 hit? It's, huh. oh. Oh. you're going to take nine points of damage on Weir. You're dead. That's it. You have nine hit points? Uh, I have exactly nine hit points. Oh, okay. All right. So for, uh, uh, now make a save versus breath weapon, please. Uh, what does that even look like? Uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, uh, you know, okay. Breath, I got a 16 for that, so I'm rolling under, correct? No, no, above, no, over, no above. over, over. You need to hit the number or higher. Now you have a, so um, you have a uh, plus one bonus because of Yakin's bones. And if, Love that. Um, and that would be the only bonus you have. Okay, mm -hmm. not so much. All right, Onwear, you can feel the strength being sapped from your body as well as the coldness of the pain um, as it reaches into your chest and pulls out a part of you um, as you lose two uh, points of strength. Um, and then you fall over down. And then you I also... You feel darkness cover over you as you uh, drop to the ground, unconscious and dying. You can see all of the color drain out of Onward's face, and he starts to just sort of twitch, like he's having like like an epileptic like seizure, but just wow. just twitching on the ground. Um, and it's very deeply unpleasant as the thing seems uh, to regard Onward coldly. I mean, and shuts up for like just a quick second. Can I, uh, for flavor, uh, have a final word? <laughs> Maybe as I turned back towards it. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Uh, What's the word, David? Yeah, you can say whatever you want. Towards the eye roll, thou all destroying but unconquerable spirit. <laughs> to the gra last grapple with thee from hell's heart, I stab at thee. For hate's <laughs> sake, I spit my last breath at thee. <laughs> Sink nice. all coffins good. and all hearses to one common pool, and then I probably fall over. <laughs> Damn, you should—you had that shit ready. You're ready to die. Uh, oh, you know. <laughs> okay, give me a sec. Okay, so uh, we're about to see the first institu uh, institution of our new death rule, which is absolutely brutal. No more death and dismemberment table, although we loved it dearly. This is a little bit more streamlined, but a lot more vicious. Okay, so uh, this is from the Dolmenwood Players Book. Uh, this is an optional rule for Death's Door. We're going to use it. So. Um, each round, you have a two and six chance, just straight up of straight up dying. If you roll one to two on a D6, when it comes your turn, you die. Okay. Um, you any uh, any healing, any magical healing, can save you and bring you up to one point. Okay. In addition, um, <laughs> you can be you can now. This is an additional rule that I added. You can be bandaged. In which case you won't heal anything, but you don't have to make the two and six rolls anymore. But that cannot be done during combat. It takes a turn to apply bandages. Right. Okay. So th th those are your options right now. Things are looking grim for Onweir. I'll remind everyone that okay. Onweir is a scumbag that none of you loved. <laughs> oh, that's not. <laughs> Do oh. not sacrifice yourself don't for him. Don't say that our scumbag. Okay. You're booking it around the corner, yeah. and you hear Onweir call out um, his uh, his. Soliloquy and then drops to the ground, and that was was it. Its turn. It won, right? It did yeah. win. No, I don't you know. Uh, no, we won, you won, and we ran, and yeah, it caught won. up, and it dropped on where. Got it. The question is, David. Yeah, I know you're saying you're. You know, it, don't sacrifice yourselves, et cetera, et cetera. If you seriously want to play another character, 
will abandon you. But if if you want to play on where we will save you. You know me well enough. You know me well enough by now to know the answer to that question. And I love you. And if it's something you want to do for your character's sake, I fully endorse it. Okay. But the only reason I mentioned on weird scumbaggery is because he is what he is. He's made of that cloth. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Sadly, it's he's not a valiant knight. Yeah. It's a tough. He's very round. charismatic, so we probably wouldn't just let him ling- languish in the hallway. So true, I assume that true. what did I miss, real quick? Well, not uh, that much. It, it, on, it dropped on her and may die. So uh, no one is in combat. I mean, no one is in melee, so we don't have to declare unless Avaricios wants to declare a spell. I think I might cast a spell this turn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Onwir, <laughs> Onwir, why don't you roll initiative? Um, All right, I'll roll initiative. Okay, and okay, your spells being cast. Okay, let's roll for initiative. Here we go. I got a four. What's you, John? Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, give I me a second. It. I gotta search. Do into us, Onwir. Uh, okay. Let's see. Onwir's spirit is about to haunt y'all, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I might be turned into a specter. <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't think about yeah. that until just now. Oh, no. I did. But I don't <laughs> think it's going to happen because we're going to okay. you know, burn your corpse before that yeah. happens. So yeah, yeah. That's the spell I hope that I've raised. Okay. Right, right, after, yeah, right after we burn our own corpses. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. So it's, it's, it, it screams at Onweir's life, lifeless form, and it says, uh, "You know, to the pits with you. Who's next?" And it comes barreling down the corridor again, and um, that would be Mort or Gorand once again. Yes. Uh, so we have four. It's going to be Mort. Here we go. Oh, oh fuck! That's going to do it. All right. It's going to deal um, five points of damage, Mort. I need you to make me a save versus breath weapon as it wrenches into your chest. You got your plus one, though. Yep. Mort's All goblin right, so head rears back as his chest pushes forward. My save versus breath attacks um, is a 10. So I have a plus one. Okay. Uh, so you're going to be minus two strength as you can For the folks at home, I rolled a four. Oh, shit. Okay. No, that's uh, crazy though, man, because I made my save and took one strength point of damage. You failed your save and you took two. Mm-hmm. So you can almost calculate yeah. how many rounds we have until we, <laughs> until we specterize. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, the, um, it, well, I'm going to hit was, him. That was its turn. So now Mort and Gorn are both in melee. So uh, moves happen first, though. So anyone who is still moving that cannot be Gorn and Mort, what do you want to do? Um, okay, so uh, let's see. Lisbeth okay, would, oh, I'm sorry, would move. Let, let, yeah. me, let, me, uh, let me interrupt. Why? Because this could affect everything. Let's have Onwear make his death save. Oh, don't don't okay. I get to cat- do spells first? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, okay. so moves first. Moves first. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. So uh, Lisbeth is going to step back so that everybody's still in the 10 feet, but she's far enough back. Um, Avriusos is not going to move because he's going to cast a spell. Um, and y'all will stay by Avaricios. Y'all will stay by Avaricios. Okay. Yost? Yost is going to um, move up to be behind uh, Mort, and he will be able to grab Onward's uh, living body or a, a, a dead corpse to loot the body, you know, as needed um, if, when we continue moving. Okay, so he's moving up. Okay, so he's if he's going up. to be if he's going to be within reach of Onward's body, that means he will be in melee with the spirit. Is that okay? Um, I thought that only two people could be in melee with the spirit because of the width of the corridor. That is true. So one of you guys will have to drop back if you want Yost to be within reach of Onward's body. Oh, because oh, I see. Yeah, because Onward dropped. And the spirit moved past on weird to get to us. Correct. Right. Okay. So, so he's just going to be right behind Mort then. Yeah. Right he'll behind move, he'll prepare to do something if he can, but he's, yeah, he's, he's behind Mort. Right. Got it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Spells. All right. I would, uh, you know, I think there are a few uh, light wounds that I could probably try to do. Uh, cure. Do you, well, okay. Can that be cast at range? I believe that it can. Let me pull that back up. That is that a is definite a thing question. we need to check. 
Uh, let me check here. Level one spells. Cure light wounds. Uh, oh, I have to touch the creature. Okay, knowing you have to touch it, do you want to change your action to be a move now that you know? Uh, or, or can Yo grab the body and bring it back to you? I have to enter melee to grab the body because of where it is relative to the spirit. Can one of us grab the body and move it back to him? You could, yes, but you have to declare you your, your movement, you know, because you're in melee. But yes, you could do that. Or Avaricios could switch with one of you and, and move up into melee right now. I don't want um, to no. Okay. Uh, so, Avaricios, you didn't waste your spell or anything like that, but uh, if you want to do any other yeah. action, you can. Uh, well, shoot. Um, you could like, touch Mort. <laughs> oh yeah, you took you took some damage too, didn't I you? I took five points. That's a third of my hit points. Yikes! Yeah, I'll 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 do that. I've got two of them. I've got two of them in the chamber, so I'll uh, cure light wounds on uh, on old Mort. Okay, we'll say that you're standing next to him, so you don't have to move. That's fine, because okay. you probably were. All right, so you feel a healing hand from behind you, Mort, as <laughs> okay. Uh, this will be one d six point one or plus one. Mm -hmm. Uh, Watch your fucking pause. Oh. Oh, <laughs> big two. Big two points. Two points, though. <laughs> hey, every little bit. Okay. That was the end of the round, right? Everyone's kind of staying put. Uh, shock of their... Okay, now. The end of the turn. So now, on we're. Melee. Roll melee. a d6. Melee. Melee is actually next. Oh, melee, yeah. Who's uh, I'm, is... I'm in melee with the spirit, and since I can't move out of it because of the way the round fell out. I'm going to hit him. Oh, okay. That wasn't... Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna attack him. No more amelioration, apparently. Oh, look at you. Look at All you right. with your plus, plus three weapon. It has a 21 19. with a plus three weapon. Okay, it has a 19 AC. Uh, and okay. what plus two weapon are you using? Plus three, the pin. The pin, okay. Stab a stab. So that is um, a D8 plus five damage. So eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. And if it is uh, the sort of thing that can happen to a ghost, uh, it will be slowed if it fails a save versus spells. Okay. Which would be really nice if that could happen. Okay, the the most unseen, like the, the smallest of weapons, Laryl's little pin, is the first thing that actually manages to penetrate this thing's darkness and actually affect it as it rears back and shrieks at you, focusing all of its anger at you, Mort. Um, as you oh. cause significant amounts of pain that it has not felt for centuries. Um, and in addition, let's see if it is slowed. Um, give me a second here. But, but, but. Say versus spells. Say versus spells. Looking at my charts here. And it gets a minus one to that because of the protections. Is that right, I would Matt? think so. Yeah. Uh, I okay. believe so. Let me pull that up. Uh, level four. Uh, protection from evil 10 feet radius. Uh, yeah, those warded gain a one uh, plus one saving throws. Affected creatures' attacks are penalized uh, by one. Do the saves no? I don't, uh, I don't think so. No, okay. it doesn't do the oh, saves. Well. Okay, so here we go. We're rolling for spells, and it needs a 14 or higher to save successfully. Here we go. I rolled a 14. Oh. Ah! So it, it is not slowed, but it definitely did get hurt um, as the pin penetrated it. Well done. Okay. okay. Now, on where? Wait. Yeah, yes. I'm still, I'm still in melee too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Everyone's fighting. Okay. Well, well I I just I'm, I'm the job. Like, and, and you got to tell me, man, I will attack it with the Igni um, Spatha, which is an unknown plus, right? Mm-hmm. Unless you you tell me that I can grab on we were by his collar and drag him back out of melee, uh, and I'm not you, sure how that works for the movement thing. You can you can sacrifice your melee attack right now and grab and have on we're in hand, but you just can't move back yet. Might as well hit him. But you can have I'm him. Going, you think then he has him, him and he can move back next time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Or he fails his save, he dies, and you missed an opportunity to bring down the spirit. Yeah, but I, I don't even know what plus this weapon is. If Great it's magical at all. You got to say, I mean, if you're going to do it, you got to say the word and poke him with it. Right. Uh, okay. 
My Ooh. chance to hit is so low; it's like ridiculous. All so right, grab, then grab on here. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to take the spatha. I'm going to say the word ig- igni. Right? It was igni. Ignis. I believe it was igni. Ignis. 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 Just ignis. Ignis. No, just ignis. Gonna... Ignis. 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 <laughs> yes. Sorry, man. It's not real English. All right. So I'm going to stab <laughs> it ignis. And okay. uh, John, I have a plus two just for my faco to hit. I have no idea if the weapon is. Okay. Magic. So when you say the word ignis, <gasps> Mike. Mike. Oh. <laughs> okay. What? You're on eighteen. You hit. You hit. Okay, so when you say the word Ignis, the 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 small spada, it goes and it, it like bursts like the whole blade just like uh, like ignites into flame. Okay, um, the uh, the spirit doesn't seem to react at all to the presence of the flame, um, and then you swing mightily with like, like a huge arcing blade of fire as as you come down on top of it, and it passes right through it. Oh. But at least son now, of a. Um, it also illuminate. It actually acts as like a, a light source as well, as it illuminates the horror a- around you. Onweir. Anyone else want to interrupt me before I make Onweir roll his? his, 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 his. <laughs> okay. We don't want a one or two. We don't want a one or two. What? No, you just yeah. Okay. Here I go. Is everyone ready? Ready. Oh, we're uh, come on, man. Three. Two, <laughs> one. Ah, he's still yes. alive. He's still alive. Uh, holy okay. shit! So, uh, at the end, <laughs> for a beer. At this point, as you saw all the color drain from his face the moment he was dropped, you start to see Onweir's corpse start to fade away at the edges, like as the edges of his being start to fray, almost like the Back to the Future photo, right? Somebody find some king's foil, quick. Um, that's oh what God. you're looking at, Gorn, like right at your feet, and it's fucking horrifying. Okay, top of the round, we have Gorn. <laughs> we have Gorn and Mort in melee. Um, and uh, yeah, so do we want melee declare declare melee movement and declare spells. John, do I need to move into melee to be able to touch? Yes. Okay, so I'll I'll do that. Okay. And I'm going. Right, so I'm going to move out. into melee. I'm going to cast a spell. Okay. You're going to push out Gorn. Well, you can't. You have to move, but you cannot cast. You understand? Oh, yeah. Can you guys get him back to me so that I can still cast it? Or I can. I was trying to do yeah, last. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, All right. Gorn and Mort, you guys are declaring fighting withdrawals. Uh, John, I'm going to now. I will try and snatch up David and move with him. That's what I'm asking. So you're, you're, you're fighting withdrawal, right? Yeah. With okay. David. Yeah. Mort, are you going yeah. to declare or no? So, I mean, guys, it's. I mean. Um, if I fighting withdrawal, I can with move without the AC minus, but I don't actually fight, right? If I want to hit right. this thing, I have to stay in melee. Yeah. So if Nobody I'm the only one them. with a weapon that can that can hurt it, you know? Yeah. If you do a fighting withdrawal uh, and it ends up coming towards you more, you can still attack on the melee phase. Oh. Okay. Fine. Guys, I gotta oh, go yeah, talk to number two. Ted has my proxy. Okay. Well, I'm going to go grab a beer because I yeah. think I need one for this. <laughs> can, can we can we take a little break, John? Because I, I have a I have a tough job. I got to go do too. Oh my god, you guys are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going well, to tuck on to bed take, as well. <laughs> listen, the audience out there, I take no responsibility for the killing of the pacing that these gentlemen mm-hmm. all just. Did. <laughs> but we are going to take a break, and we will be right back. Okay. All right, we're back after bathroom break. Okay, so we are at the top of the round now. We were declaring. So did that happen? So I don't think so. Let's declare it again, just to be clear. Okay. Mort was saying how he was going to do a fighting withdrawal, and you said that if the thing kept on me, he would get to fight in melee. Yes, correct. which seems that's exactly right. what right. Mort would do. So that's what he's doing. And Goran is doing- just going to move with him. And Goran okay. is also declaring a fighting withdrawal, taking Onwer's body. Correct. Right. right. Guys, I have an idea here. and I just want to run it by you. <laughs> See if it's a really bad idea. What if I run past it back towards the treasure room and say, I'm going to get your rings and then just book it. And then it will follow me and it'll at least take it a couple of rounds probably to drop me. And then you guys can wrap it to the uh, tunnel. I mean, like that would work, except that 
then we'd have a basically mostly dead Onwir and a dead Gorant. I don't know how we get out of this, though. I'm the dead well, guy, so don't uh, pay attention to my <laughs> advice. <laughs> but um, it's, an, it's a creative idea. I like it. It is possible, for what it's worth, that you could head that way and still meet us in the statuary and just do oh. a full donut. Assuming yes, that... Too. I the, mean, that I, 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 all zombified. Yeah, I mean, who knows, right? Yeah. But, I but mean, it is a thought if that's something you want to pursue, uh, rather than like running into the uh, 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 the, 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 the like cloisters. But well, I was just thinking, it's going to be faster than me, right? Definitely faster than me. Um, but if it has to make like I can't remember the movement rules, can it move up and attack every turn? Yes. So yeah. it'll get it'll get. It'll get you. It moves. It's going to get you. It moves forty every round. It's faster than you. Mm -hmm. and stronger than you. It'll take it at least two or three rounds to kill me. I have a lot of hit points. Well, what we don't know is whether the strength loss is permanent or not. If it's permanent, then I'd rather die than keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, oh, you know, amazing. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just, stick with the declared plan. Yeah, let's You've do got the plan. Body. I like bring it. it. Yeah, bring it to Av, uh, who's going to cast a spell. Okay. Let's okay. see what happens. Okay. All right. Let's All right. Uh, so Avrizos is declaring spell casting. Correct. Then this yeah. is this is correct. Okay, got it. All right, let's roll for initiative. Let's do it. Oops. Uh, uh, I'll 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 do it this time. Yeah. I got a two. Ooh. Six. Oh, baby. You got a six. Nicely done. All right. You guys win. So movement occurs. All right. Gorin grabs Onward bodily, drags him back out of danger uh, behind Mort and Yost, bringing him back to Avaricios. Um, uh, Mort then uh, withdraws as well, keeping the front line correct with you and Yost. Yost is sort of right, right at his shoulder. Right. Okay. So it's the two of you guys now that are the front line. Um, yeah. And you move carefully back. So I'm going to say that. On the map here, I'm going to move the token back, and that's yeah. like the body of the party. But here at the intersection is where the action is happening. So that's where Mort and um, Yost are. Okay, and the spirit is is one yeah. to the west, basically. Okay, um, and yeah, that's the key. Okay, so that was movement. No, no missile. Spell. Spell. Come on, Lysion. Bring this, bring this uh, pain in the ass back to life. <laughs> uh, four points. I love points. you too. <laughs> Onweir, you are no longer at death's door as you feel the power of Lysion infuse you. I honestly, he's only got one hit point, right? It's, Isn't that how it works? You brought him up to one? Uh, is way? it just one? Remember. You might be right about that. Let me double check. That's a good point. Um, yes, you're right. You're right. We're sorry, to one hit point. Yeah. Okay, so you're okay. at one, so that, that's a good point. You are still very, very fragile. Um, but extra no three just like warm you up and give you tinkles it's a uh, it's good it's good Ooh. to be the cleric <laughs> hey. it's good to have a cleric yeah so on where you shake it off, you see him like won. i'm sorry you see uh on where uh reform like become solid again as everest right. has his healing power um, sorry Ted, go ahead well so based on what you said earlier because we won the initiative and i am doing a fighting withdrawal and i've moved if it attacks me, I do I get it actually uh, an attack on it? Uh, no, because my initiative is over. Yeah, yeah, your initiative. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Actually, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you don't get it. You don't get like a, a retro attack. The whole point is to speed things up. Uh, what you can do though yeah. is because you guys want initiative, is that you guys could move all your full movement back or half your movement back. So if you want to be even further down the southern corridor, you could. But just keep moving. You you could move fifteen feet for for you and um. Uh, well, you, I, you, you, I you, can, yeah. yeah. Do you want? I want to be that? as far away from it as I can get. Let's okay. do it that way. Okay, cool. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll have like like this, and then um, uh, more you and Yoster are, are um, still at like the front line, right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and now it's its turn as it uh, barrels around the corner, and it has Mort and Yost to choose from. Mort. That'd be a Yost. Why is it Mort? Because I said Mort and Yost. Oh, <laughs> it was first. Yeah. Before it was four to six. Oh, okay, fine. 
Oh, now we're now we're fine. <laughs> I'll take that too. Yeah, all right. Yep. <laughs> all right, Mort, you you dodge nimbly out of the way of its claws um, and slam yourself against the wall as it sweeps around over your head. And oh, that was the turn. Yeah. Top of the round. Mort and Yost are in melee. Do you want to declare melee movement, Ted? I assume we're going to try and get through that door. So um, you can. Is, does this? Through. Go ahead. You cannot get through if you do a fighting withdrawal. You would have to do a because full retreat. Of the distance. Yeah. Full retreat or fighting withdrawal. Or I stand and deliver. Correct. Um oh, crap. Well, let's calculate real quick, Ted. You have what is your total plus to hit? Well, it just went down a little bit. It's plus six now. That's still not that bad. means you need a 13 or more to, to hit it. And yeah. here's the thing about it, metagame Mike, right? The fact right. that this thing has so many resistances probably means it doesn't have a shit ton of hit points. I could be wrong. I mean, I mean didn't we work out it's like a seven hit die uh, creature based yeah. on the turning thing? Yeah. I mean, but what does that equate to? I don't I don't know. But you, I mean, typically, typically monsters that have this many resistances don't have as many hit points. Just typically. You're metagaming. Can we, um, can we ask him? Yeah, <laughs> I would like John, to do a how inquisition. It <laughs> I will. I will duel with the spirit while I determine its hit points. Um, how dead does it, it look? John? So, so more. If you want to get into the room, you need to declare a retreat. If you want to get all the way into the room, everyone else can get in. Everyone else can get in. Yeah, and everyone else is going to do that. And so, um, you and Yost both uh, need to declare it. Yep. 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 I think all things considered, that's probably what we're going to do. Yep. yep. Retreat. Ted, retreat. Man, pass, pass me the pin. I don't hit as hard as you, but I can stay longer. Well, look, if we get into this room and it's still following us, we're just going to have to fight it. But I'm hopeful if we get in this room, it will stop chasing. That's my plan. Okay. If it gets in this room and it doesn't stop following us, we fight it. <laughs> How's that sound, Mike? Ever, ever. Or, we go, with my, or we go with my holdo maneuver. <laughs> now, let's see. I, I, okay. I'm going to run into the statue room. Okay, so you're not casting a spell. All right, roll for initiative, please. I got a six. I haven't done it yet. I got it. Roll six, Mike. That wasn't it. No good. All right, so everyone beats ass. Um, it's going to get a plus two against whoever it decides to attack here, Yost, uh, Mort or Yost. 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 Uh, it gets a plus two, but a minus one because of the protection. Here we go. Yeah. So that's going to be a plus something or other. Um, what's Yost? Yost is a AC 12. AC 12? Yeah. Oh, I got to figure that one out. Okay, so that's going to be a 5 to 10. Uh, Does he have a plus 8? Oh, my God. So it was literally Yawk and the Proud's emanations that has saved. Yes. Uh, so it... it it, it was just a little bit too slow because of the good vibes coming from Yakin. Um, Thank you, Yakin. And Yost is like, you see, I do not need metal. <laughs> <laughs> the nipples, they protect me. <laughs> Watch as I run away. Uh, all right. <laughs> and uh, okay, so all of the entire party books ass and uh, tears around the corner, whips open that door and slams it shut as you find yourself in the quiet long echoing halls of the 20 worthies that they as they stare down in judgment upon you it's kind of reminds me of that scene in predator 2 where gary Busey is in the meatpacking room oh you know? sure <laughs> wow, wait, wait. in two this cut. scenario who's gary Busey? <laughs> no one wants to be gary Busey who do you think gary Busey is hey guys, <laughs> there's at least a possibility that the body in this room might be um the paramour of Eustace, uh -huh. right? So if we move down past that body, maybe it'll distract it or something like that. Maybe we can, if there's sure. enough, there should be enough movement based on where we are. We can also like get behind some of these statues so that maybe we're not so uh, visible. Okay. So you pile into the room, breathing heavily, um, and uh, just all eyes are on that door waiting for that horrific face to like uh, poke through. Um, and you hear nothing but silence. Uh, and then you hear a, a keening moan that you know is Eustace, but it slowly fades away. Oh. And nothing happens after about 10 seconds or so. Okay, let's oh camp. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> well, let's done. go up that. Let's go up in that tunnel and camp out in that room at the okay. top there. A turn over here rolling passed. a new character. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so uh, first of all, um, after action report, uh, you guys. That was a little hairy for a little while, but you guys um, killed it, and you used the, the 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 specific rules for OSE combat like really really well. I mean, you, I, I hope you guys can see that how, how well you used, yeah yeah how you well you use the sequence to your advantage. I mean, obviously you know you did because you survived. Um, well, yeah. Um, but all of you out there, no, that... I hope you guys took a lesson from it because <laughs> that was a really good case in point. It worked a, good. A case study. And thank in. you, all of you, for your valor, because somehow I lived beyond all, <laughs> all statistic probabilities. So I Touch appreciate you. You had a thirty-three percent right. chance of just kicking it right there, and you, yeah, you beat it's it. Wild. Yeah. I mean, Oof. that's a scary rule. I, I really like that rule. I like that a lot because it, it, you know, the ten, the tension like just ratchets up big time. You know, amazing. Uh, uh, that was fun. Yeah, just that was so, really fun. Yeah, just so you guys know, be careful now because I'm spent. On healing spells. <laughs> yes. Right, before well, we yeah. before we camp, guys, we want to sneak back up to that room and get the treasure. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If if we did, you if jokester. we did, it would be the most glorious. It would be the most glorious <laughs> audacity ever put on camera. Dude. I would totally support you. I'm I would ready. totally fucking support you. <laughs> I have a thought about um, that I room would, though, which is if that secret hidden room is full of stuff. And I don't know if Onware got a good look at it or not. It makes me wonder if all the stuff in the room with the Weary Arden is decoy stuff. I mean, that right? we did hypothesize that a long time ago. Yeah. 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 Okay, so here's here's the um, deal. Now that we're out of combat, um, before okay. you guys start talking about your plans, just so we can get an assessment. Yeah, yeah. First of all, you have um, uh, Avaricious. You have, or no, not not Avaricious. Onware, um, you have one more turn on your lantern. Okay. In addition, it is also eleven fifty. You have one more turn before you are fatigued. Right. Okay. Whether you have minus one to everything. Um, right. On where your mirror image is actually. Oh no! It would have dropped whenever you went unconscious. So never. Turns, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so that's gone. Oh shit! Wouldn't it have stopped at the attack that hit him? Uh, it's all right it, through it. it, it it's, it's all right, right through, through it. it. Yeah. So. Uh, for those out there and for you guys who are wondering, um, the reason that poor Onweir gave it his all with uh, creative use of his spells and stuff like that, but it failed, um, was because not only did it have the invulnerability to certain magic, but it also had magic resistance. And I hit magic resistance twice in a row. I hit it on the improved wow. Phantasmal Force and I hit it on the mirror image. But you were rolling for it or something? Or? Yeah, I was rolling for it. Ah, if you, okay. if you remember the old AD and D days back when it was like a, a D percentile chance of magic resistance, or just like any yeah. magic doesn't affect it. Well, I yeah. did it both times. I see. Yeah, that's amazing. Nasty, I nasty magic stuff. resistance. I will say, I think probably if we're going to rest, we should do it in the hole and not in this room. Yes. I say yeah, we I climb do. up and get in that hole and camp out in that little ten by twenty room. There's plenty of room for us. We camp out in there, and uh, and then. Um. Well, well, then we'll decide in the morning. But I'm yeah. Okay, so you're gonna crawl up that hole. You're gonna use a grappling hook and rope. Get up there. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're going to retrieve it after us. Yeah. <laughs> it is a very uncomfortable camp. Let me tell you, it is cramped and claustrophobic, and you know it's like not a flat ground because it's a natural tunnel. All the or do you want to go all the way down the tunnel and be in? Like, I think we go to that ten by twenty area down there. Okay. That's what so I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, okay. with the finished. With the finished wall uh, where the staircase is, really, I, I thought the floor there was also level, wasn't it? Do we are we worried? Oh, I don't want to encourage more adventuring while we're half dead, but there's three entrances. Yeah, there's no, a we bunch of places it. where things can just crawl in it's on midnight. us. Midnight. Do we, we want set a guard peak. down? A, okay, all right. We set yeah. a guard. We chill. In the morning, we go take a peek. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So and I can. Okay, so I have this alarm spell, right? Do we want to put it? I'll, I'll put it in uh, the room with all the openings that we don't know much about, right? Because that seems it, like the most it'll likely. It'll do a radius, won't it? Won't it do a it radius? It can, but by that point, the thing's going to be right on us. Wait, what's the radius on it? Uh, what, what room are you talking about, Matt? The room where we're all going to be asleep? No, like I can put it in. Uh, well, if we sleep in the, the rough hallway, right? No, we can't sleep in the rough hallway because it's too rough. We have to go oh, down. Oh, it's too rough. No, okay. I'm, to sleep in the room. Well, to be clear, Ted, I'm saying you could. I'm just saying it's like super uncomfortable and not 
you know goblins don't like to be uncomfortable yeah i also don't think that <laughs> is there's no escape if <laughs> you know i do still have five bells we can string up several yeah. cheap alarms with trip wires if we want and then have everest's alarm on whichever one we're most afraid of we set a guard there's just somebody always awake because there's okay, seven so of we, us we so have shrieker fine. We have Shrieker, we have Bells, and we have Guard. Is that, is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Everyone, please erase that ration. Okay. Yeah. Um, do we have to, do we, do we have Mike, to track Mike this was thing? sharing, I think, right, Mike? Uh, I got three left. So how much sharing do I have to do here? <laughs> There's seven of us. Who else You're has gonna, ration? So I can, I can pull, um, well, for pull 15, stew it's out? 15 gold yeah. out. How much ration can I get for 15 gold? How much of a meal could I get for us out of the bag? I well, did just use my last one for what it's worth. So I, I would say, mind. Matt, just for like, you know, balance's sake, like you could pull, you know, like you can't be like, I pull a pie and then I also pull a meat thing. You know what I mean? Like it's like you could, yeah, pull, just like, you could pull like a single meal for somebody. You know what I mean? Well, could you pull a whole lasagna out? <laughs> no, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, he can, one of those really long sub sandwiches. Just in, keeps game, in game terms, he can pull like a ration for one person, and then that's used up. All right, All I, right. I'm, I'm going to be really annoying. We have pulled a chicken, John. Yeah, yeah, a chicken would be. No, I, well, I won't do that. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, we could pick a chicken. It feeds a bunch of people on a chicken. We'll do a roll we whether we ruin it. And it's inedible. <laughs> anyway, take a whole on, chicken out. Let's keep it simple. Skewer with <laughs> Amos. Okay, how many how many rations does everyone have? I have three. I just ate my last. I am empty of rations when I'm good. I have none. I just pulled one out of the bag. Lisbeth, I'm checking. Uh, she does not have any. And Njal uh, also does not have any. We've got the Arcantian brandy, though. Look at Gorn. So Gorn's the only one have... prepared. I'm a dwarf. So we count. have four rations for seven people at this point, basically. Well, four rations for six, because on we already ate something. Okay. Who is not getting rations? Because those two people, is it two people who aren't going to be eating? It would be two people, yeah. Yeah, two, those two people will, will be minus one in the morning. So choose wisely. Now, now, John, there's nothing to say that I have to actually tell them the correct number of rations. That That's I true. That's true. That's very true. Yeah, you just keep them. <laughs> You could just make everybody <laughs> miserable. <laughs> um, but let's get through right. it. Let's get. We got other stuff to do here. So they're my rations. I'm eating. So you know, who's not getting rations? Uh, you know, uh, on uh, uh shows, You know, he's a, he's uh, been feeling a little doughy lately. He'll go without. He'll take the minus one. Okay. Any other person? And uh, we don't if it, want if, if it is a retainer and you withhold rations from them they will it will be an automatic loyalty check not from y'all uh, not, not from <laughs> y'all that's true actually yeah yeah so he'll he'll give his ration from the bag to Lisbeth. okay so y'all and um Avericius Avericius. okay okay chewy and han go without food um <laughs> the, the okay and so you guys aren't feeling that great but you are able to memorize your spells and you go you bed down for the night well you're going to attempt to memorize your spells um, and you bed down in a, uh, in a crossroads. <laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're very, we're John, very prepared, mean, prepared for this. John, you're, you're being a bit of a smart I ass. Wait for a like, you, you made it sound like we're passing up La Quinta over there for the Motel 6. We're not. <laughs> I know, I know. Just... Uh, I've seen better decisions. Is all I'm saying. I try. I, I know. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, give me a second. I gotta, I gotta roll some shit. Mm. I mean, we did this predicated on the assumption that other corpses had come alive, which we have zero evidence for. Okay, but well, if but they also, were, you, this is the smart kind of place to be. Beastie. Miracle of miracles. You, uh, whoever's on watch as you change your watches, you are very, very nervous as you have to keep an eye on basically four different. Uh, egress is out of here um, and every little rock fall you know it's like you're on edge and you whip out your blade but you manage to get through eight hours um, of rest and uh, without incident um, and we have very good news for everybody the party and the audience there are some among us who have raised in level as a result of this night uh, one of them is a pc <laughs> who would that pc be 
Speak up. The one is miraculously alive. Yes. Uh, it would be me. It would be me. Yay, uh, onward. Onward I, has I'm shocked. <laughs> Not only have you survived, but you've gained power. Well done. Um, Man. You are now a fifth level illusionist. Roll for new hit points, please. Okay, let me do that real quick. If we let him die, would we have gotten more XP? <laughs> yes. You should have. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me roll this. Ooh, another. Oh. I'm at 10 HP now, gang. This is getting real. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you gained a, what, a hit point? Yep. Right on. Okay, so you are uh, fifth level. Uh, next level on where you finally, finally actually go into the next bracket. It takes forever for magic for uh, arcane casters. Um, wait, so, wait, 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 wait. Oh, hold on, hold on. It says fifth. I get a uh, first one third level spell. You do. I'm saying for your. He's talking your... about your hit rolls and saving oh, throws. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just so excited yeah. about spells. Okay, gotcha, a thing gotcha, for gotcha. you too. It just takes forever. But next level, you will. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. yeah. So your saving throws and um, attack bonuses don't go up, but um, you do. You gain a third level spell that you can memorize, which means rope tricks any just <laughs> everywhere. Um, okay, so I need to, uh, and then we have some. Um, we have some retainer levels up, yes? Who do True. we got? Uh, both uh, Lisbeth and Njal are both uh, both leveling up. So Lisbeth is going to be a level three druid. Wow. And oh, man, uh, that didn't take which, any time at all. For, it just goes to I, show. <laughs> hey, you, you you know you run with the uh, with the uh, tough kids, and you uh, yep. you yeah. pick up uh, you pick things up along the way. It's a great aspect uh, of old school play. Yeah. Yeah, it's seriously, right. like it's been like two days since we picked her up or something. She yeah, fast. yeah, she's just like when you're, <laughs> when you're in the <laughs> yeah. Okay, and all right, y'all went up to and he's now level five fighter. Uh, yeah, and y'all is like, ooh, oh, ooh, and I just rolled um, uh, Lisbeth's. Uh, yeah, she got six. Uh, damn, Lisbeth, put her, Lisbeth up in the front row. Uh, yeah, her con <laughs> is a 10, so uh, yeah, there's no hint, no penalty, so yeah, okay, and roll uh, for y'all real quick. And uh, Nial, what's he in D8? Great. Uh, yeah. All right, come on, baby, come on, y'all. Okay, well that's a that's a three, but his con is high. Um, he's got a seventeen con. So that's plus two, uh, right? So, so he gets a, two. So he gets five, five more hit points. points. That's great. Okay, so Nial's still like the beefiest person in the party. Yeah, right? he's up to forty-one hit points now. Jesus. God Max. damn, y'all. All right. Um. All right, great. Pen. So, uh, I need to know what spells Avaricios, Onweir, and Lisbeth all memorize for the next day. Okay. Uh, uh, David, do you know Onweirs? I can. I can do abs um, if you. You go. You go first. You go first. Okay. I'm, yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, he's going to prepare one casting of Cure Light Wounds. That seems very handy. Um, but uh, we have needed Detect Magic, so he's going to pack that as well. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, for those are his two level ones. Uh, for level two, he will keep. Uh, uh, yeah, he'll keep uh, the ones he had before. Bless and silence. Those can always be good if we need them. Uh, level three, he's going to do locate object. I figure we can either use that for some of uh, uh, Arden's things or for teleportation tiles. Food. It's about time. Or food, food, just food. <laughs> or, right? Listen to him. Red meat off the bone. <laughs> uh, okay. And for his his level four spell, uh, he's gonna try a new one. Sticks to snakes. Oh snap! Uh, a little, little Moses action. Ooh, right? I like the sound of that. Little, okay. uh, Do we have any sticks? Uh, oh, I happen to have some in my bag right here. He pulls out some sticks. <laughs> ah. <laughs> that could be done. Uh, Awesome. Uh, and uh, yep, yeah, before before we went to bed, also he'd pull out one more uh, flask of oil. That's just like a good thing to do before we go to sleep because he hadn't yeah. pulled one out yet. Smart. Um, and uh, Lisbeth, uh, Ooh, okay, Lisbeth gets a second level spell. She gets a second level spell. You know what? She's gonna she's gonna pack a little cure light wounds herself. Ooh, snap! Second level spell for druids. Okay, that's right. Nice. And her two um, first levels. Uh. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. She might do, uh, yeah, for her first, her, for, for two first levels, uh, she'll do, for the, the, 
the animal stuff just didn't help much last time. Predict uh, weather. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> she's going to, okay, she's going to do uh, fairy fire and invisibility to animals. Okay. Got it. For her, for her level ones. Okay. Uh, for her level two, I wonder though, should we, you know what? I think she's going to do um, the obscuring mist. That's a good one too. Even, even more. Because that's healing? like invisibility for the whole party, I think. Right. Um, yeah. Okay. So you have one cure light wounds then. Yeah. Okay, got it. All right. Uh, on speaking of wounds, speaking of wounds, before Onward goes, um, some of us are wounded. Right. So you, everyone wound. gains a one hit point. One hit point. And what about that strength? Uh, that does not go away right now. Son of a bitch. Okay. Okay. Onward. Spells. Uh, just. All right. So I'm gonna. <laughs> it's tough. Very tough. But. Uh... I think I'm going to do two chromatic orbs Ooh, for my okay. first level spells. Two. I'm going to do a mirror image, and I'm tempted to ditch improved phantasmal for brain full of spiders, but I just phantasmal so malleable. I think I'll keep it. Uh, I will, uh, for what it's worth, improve phantasmal force yeah, for okay. a second. Got it. Yeah. And then for third, I have one slot. I am want after what just happened to us just. Pick rope trick as something that we can escape up into, uh, right. or like use as the last? ability. It was like a, a few turns, right? It was like two hours, I think. Two yeah. turns per level. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa! Okay. So, so ten turns. Ten turns. That's um, not bad. It's, it's not bad. bad. It's not infinite. It's good that, but I say that with. Uh, 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 it, uh, Look at this shit, though. Mealy man. Mealy mouth. Sorry. Oh, wait. No. It depends on what you have in your No, I don't. Clear. I wish I did. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. I forgot you were um, clear. I, I, I know. I have fear and suggestion as well, though. So I just want to like throw this out there for you guys in case. All right. Uh, uh, fear uh, is instant. It's a 60 foot cone, 30 foot wide at the end. And creatures in the cone are struck with terror and f will flee from the caster at maximum speed for one round per level. So that would be five rounds at my level. Um, Affected creatures have a 60% chance of immediately dropping anything in their hands. The chance is decreased by 5% for each level or hit die above one. So rope trick is an obvious, like, let's escape up and hope that the intelligent creature doesn't, like, see us. You know, fear is a let's, like, make them fuck off in the other direction and run for it. Is there a strong case that you guys feel for either in the emergency criteria versus, like, like, the utility? I feel like oh. a lot of undead are going to be immune to fear. That's, that's a good, good point. Okay, so I'll do rope trick. All right. Very, very, very oh, here I am again. I like it. Rope trick. Okay. Uh, that's it then, right? That is it. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, any other business we need to take care of from the next day? Everyone g gave themselves a hit point? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. David now has three. Oh, did nope. I get one with leveling? Do you gain a hit point by yeah, leveling? Yeah, you gain, gain from leveling, and then you also healed one from resting, so you should have three. I three, yeah. Um, okay. I think we're ready, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't well know. Done. <laughs> sure. Okay. All right, so you are in this very strange thing where it's like half Arcantian stonework, but then, uh, you know, like half the room is, is solid, and there is definitely like a worked staircase that goes up and choked with cobwebs to the west, but then there's also these... Um, these strange natural caverns. The one to the east directly um, is level and has um, just regular, you're not sensing anything from there. And then the one that goes south slopes up slightly and there's just the slightest hint of a breeze coming from there. I say breeze. we go that way. Breeze. Or, or know, you can I go know back and explore it. more of the regular places. That too. Uh, sorry, I, I just remembered one more thing. Oof. Okay. Classic last words. Uh, we determined on Discord that Isocritus's ring, which I've been wearing, was magical, but I don't think we ever described any sort of feeling I might have had from it. So I just want to clarify if that's something we neglected to do. I know that's like a big rewind that we know it ahead of time. Um, did I have any sensation? We've never I identified it for sure. Yeah. No, but I just if I if I like, you know, immediately felt depressed. <laughs> uh. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so you were asking if you feel anything whenever you wore it? Yeah, if I feel anything or if there's any like adverse effects or okay, cool. No. Um, but it is a uh, 
I don't know if you have it written down. It's a gaudy silver ring has an oversized one inch diameter silver disc that rests against the knuckle. Okay. You have not experimented. You haven't done anything with it. You haven't had it identified. Right. No. Right. But you, you get the floating disc ring maybe. So, uh, okay. Cool. Plus five ring of the knuckle. <laughs> Thank you. Okay guys. So can we just have like a quick powwow on, <laughs> we are out of food. This is concerning. Yep. Um, right. I'm a little hungry. Yeah. I've risked us in the air minus don't one. Want to spend, we don't want to spend another night in the dungeon without food. Right. So that's why I'm saying up towards the breeze. Maybe it's an exit. We just have Avaricios use his locate object for an exit now. I don't think I can do an exit. Nope. Mm. I think that's a mm. that's a little um too vague. Uh, vague. How about yeah. bush? How about the closest can... bush? Why not? Why not locate object on one of the things that we have at the end? No, it'll just point in that direction. It won't tell well, us. The also, route. there there is a range as well. Let me tell you what that oh, is. Oh, is just there? One second. Yeah, it's, it's, 120. Uh, it's a, 120 feet. Yeah. Right. I okay. think so we should so just all the breeze. I Sorry, can look for a, a general class of object, uh, like a a, st a stairway, an altar. Yeah. Um, so you couldn't but say it exit, gives but you, you could say like, like you could say like cave opening or um you know or okay, door, door yeah. yeah the the trick to it though is it gives you the nearest thing that satisfies that right yeah, i'm worried so the about closest, that. the closest cave opening is that one right over there why don't we go towards the breeze and then if we feel lost use it does that make sense yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine yeah because that's a pretty good hint that there's some activity in that direction john we right. still don't hear any waterfalls or anything like that right no okay Let's let's do that. Okay. Okay. All Does right. that make sense? Um, I mean, I don't know if y'all disagree. Well, yeah, Gorin and and Mort up front doing the improvision thing again. Yep. Okay. You you make your way into the southern natural cavern. It's very very narrow. It's only about five feet wide, and it slopes generally upwards slightly, um, the entire mm -hmm. length of it. And you're going to go for, um, the entire length of it, Ted including what you've drawn is one, two, three, four, about 50 feet. So I need to add like another 10 feet is all. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah. That's about right. Okay. Okay. Before it opens up into something constructed and you're going to like this. <laughs> like, like our content. So I'm going to leave John when he says that <laughs> it's, it's yep. the food court, isn't it? We found yes. the food court. Yes, oh. Mike. Hey, uh, I just want, as a point of uh, procedure, John, I have shrunk Clavum down to a uh, lockpick. Oh, uh, good. And okay. put it and in my Ignis. pocket so that I have Ignis. Okay. Um, it's going to mess up our intervision, man. All we can see is your sword. No, only if I ignite it, Bo. I, I, I know. I'm... Okay, That's goblin a... humor. Just give me a second as I'm... <laughs> That makes sense. Great. Okay. I'm mostly humorless. <laughs> so as you get to the end of the natural part, you see that this the the, the stone here, uh, right at the end, uh, before it kind of opens up into like a constructed area, is blackened a little bit. And as you kind of step through, you find yourself in a 10 foot wide corridor that is going about, uh, it goes down for 30 feet straight directly south, 10 feet. Like straight like straight down. built straight yep okay um, and you can see in your who, who's oh we're using Avaricios. Everest, did you remember yeah, i've Constantine? got the I've, it's it's permanent oh it's permanent right yeah yeah okay yeah yeah right so the light the, the light shines forward and you can see that around you on the walls that have no angles they're all curves are are blackened with scorch marks here at this end but beyond down the corridor for 30 feet, you can see that it is all white plasteel. <gasps> We're back in the spaceship, boys. What, are they all <laughs> heroes, you think? Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. And at the end of that 30 feet, there is an iris door that is closed. This is the other end. This is the other side of that door from the spaceship. And uh, you. Um, okay, let's look at that map of the other space. Spaceship level. Ted, as well, uh, to be clear, there is a uh, a narrow, uh, it's about like eight feet wide, 
you can call it 10, I guess, there is a narrow passageway that goes both to the east and to the west uh, right before that door. So, wait, so there I'm is sorry. a door. I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. Okay, so corridor, uh, cave, cave, cave. Oh, wait, wait, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, uh, forget I said that. Forget I said that. There is okay. literally just um, a, a passageway that ends at an iris door. I made it's my mistake. I misread the map. Okay. So let me just go grab a door and copy it. Drag it over here. And it's an iris door like we've seen before. Yes, it's closed, right? It's made out of white plasteel. But uh, be careful to note that right where you exited from the natural caverns, like like the plasteel around that part of the corridor and the first part of the cavern there is like blackened with scorch marks. Like something like right. like like an explosion happened here or, or a fire or some sort of catastrophe happened. John, what is the transition like between the where the plasteel starts and the rock, the natural cave? Like... If we look at that that seam, so, is it so clean? It's, yeah, it, it's fused melted together or something. It, it, yeah, it's fused from intense heat, so there's no way to like get anything in between. Um, uh, and it looks like there was some sort of explosion, or or it looks like the force that caused the scorch marks and the fusing came from within and out towards the natural tunnel. It's okay. through the doorway. Okay. That's, that was my question. Yeah. Uh, it, it, yeah. Okay. It doesn't like start at five feet in front of the door as if it was like a trap. It sounds like it was, it's from the first. Yeah. The, of, okay. Yeah. The heat mind. of the impact of the thing probably just yeah. blew out. Right. Right. This is like when the spaceship crashed or whatever, it fused in here or something. And there is okay. like a Northern door on the passage we saw before. I'm looking at the other map. So that may mm -hmm. be where we're at. I think. Uh, yep, I think well, that's I exactly where we're at. Map. I can't find the spaceship map. It's a uh, far bottom, uh, sorry, middle. Oh, left. Shines. I found what? it. I found it. I found it. Yeah. Thank you. All right. I mean, yeah. I would, well, can I go, would John? Fit there? <laughs> yeah, I could fit there, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So, Iris Door. We opened one of these before, right? No, we didn't open it. We no, found we it. We yeah. never opened one. But now yeah. we have Clavum. Yeah, but I it should be able to lock pick any door, I would think, right? It's magic. It can any it... mundane lock. Oh. Well, this is not a magic lock, it's just tech, right? Should is there a mundane. is there a little padlock on the door, John? Uh there is not. Um, do you uh yeah. you have not you are literally standing at the end of the natural part. You have not entered okay. into the corridor. Let's yet. Move up to well, the let's door. go in there. Now yeah. hold, hold on. Spaceships no. have defense. Spaceships have defense systems. Can we just let me just take a look? Before we go running up there, <laughs> no goblin want goblin get. <laughs> hey, Mark, you go. You go up to the door. I'm going up to the door. Okay. Um, I hope Mike's you, wrong. When you <laughs> <laughs> close your shield up, Goran. <laughs> there yeah, might be fire. When you, are, up the door, shield up. when you are when you are ten feet from the door, Mort, as you're like, oh, look at this iris door. Um, two things on either side explode in mind. Just Boom! Right out in front of you, Mort. Uh, let's see. That's like, going to like, be like landmines, kind of thing. Yeah, like landmines. Awesome. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do. Yeah, it's gonna be nasty. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Uh, for those of us who are oh, listening shit. to the podcast. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> the dice keep coming. Uh, what did I roll? A All lot. of the damage. You rolled. You rolled seven, John. It was a total of seven. No, I, I rolled five dice. Yeah, yeah. You got like um, a two, a one, 18, a one. No, I, Twenty-seven. <laughs> John, you rolled Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Okay. But but I'm under the protection spell. <laughs> <He's wild. laughs> Okay, I'd like so, to narrate for our podcasters that the look of joy on John's face that is getting another <laughs> chance to lose. Not true. Not it's true. Too I'm, I'm palpitating a little bit right now, I have to say. I'm not happy about why okay. my bad decision. Mike was right. <laughs> yeah, so Mort rushes forward. Uh, Goran's like, no, wait. And then you just hear, boom, boom. Like, and you guys can see like the charges like blow up on either side of the wall. Um, you can't tell exactly because you didn't bother to look yet. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just 
noise and blinding you smoke and all that kind of stuff and you just see more like just, are you out Mort? you're out well that depends do i get a save no oh <laughs> no nothing nothing you walked into it you are uh, now chunky salsa i am way beyond out okay so you're at, so yeah so you the smoke clears and you just see mort's like blackened and bleeding form just on the ground just just sizzling you know like not looking good at all i'm sorry mort i'll get my grappling hook out <laughs> <laughs> i think that's probably a good idea now, i love mort but i don't want to go up there right now now the southern end of of so the door's not open but the door and the walls in that's 10 foot square right there is basically also blackened as well now, John, did we wow. see like things detach from the wall and explode, or did things like no? Was it happened it, like... too suddenly. Like you were watching Mort and Gorn like yelled out, like uh -huh. maybe we should take a look, and then it was just like blinding light and smoke, just boom. You know, okay. you guys were yeah, basically getting... probably bodily thrown backwards and onto the ground. You know, from the force. I think we should fish him out and throw some rocks and test it if it'll explode again and stuff like that. Does that make sense? Great idea. Let's let's get him out of there first. If, yeah, if, yeah, because uh, we got to we got to stop say, his. Uh, if you don't immediately attend to him, he has to make a roll. Yeah, okay, we're gonna immediately. Can and maybe we start with the uh, uh, the bandages? You can take I a turn save. to bandage. Yeah, you're out of combat. Uh, uh, but we want him to come back up. No, pull him up. I'll I'll, I'll do the cure light wounds. It's worth it. I'm going to get him to one hit point again. Remember. Uh, but ba but bandages will. Well, uh, will not. No, it just means I don't have to roll. Yeah, yeah, he'll be out. I mean, one hit point's better than just okay. dead yeah. meat. Okay, so you pull Mort back, and Avrisos, uh, you don't you don't have to roll. You just you just cast a spell. Um, Mort, you are you shake yourself off, and you like Mort is literally like smoking. Like, <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> yeah. Does he look like Yosemite Sam when he presses the wrong key on the piano? <laughs> yeah. are, his, are his ears just marginally shorter than they used to be? You know, we kind of <laughs> yeah. like lost. Absolutely, yeah. Oh my god! Sign, you know. um, I don't know what I was thinking, Mike. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That was honestly that was amazing. I no. love that you did that. It was fun. Uh, More, you are you are one hit the point. Of us, Ed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, having like thrown like a grapple to drag Mort's body away, it does not seem to have triggered any other ill effects or anything like that. Um, Avrisios has burned his cure light wounds. Um, and Mort is able to walk around, but is, um, very uh, sad, very sad and very, very humbled and not feeling great. Are uh, any parts of him like blown off that we could use as a ration? Really hungry guys. Okay. Now what do you do? <laughs> Let's All get right. some, I'm going to say a turn. Well, I mean, I should go back in there because I don't want someone else to end up at zero hit points. Well, uh, why don't we why don't back. cross each other? You started this little adventure at um at eight a.m. Just by the way, okay. so yeah. turn right. my back. Nice and early. That's good. Mm -hmm. Um, why uh, don't we send a, a little uh, creature down there to try? That's to a great see, idea. Send the chicken. See if it uh, uh pull a chicken uh, out. Send it free. Uh, yeah, Clarice. We're going to uh, Clarice is going to be called into to uh, duty again. I take her out. I Clear's give like, her puck, a little puck, 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 and moves little forward. Stroke. And, uh, oh, you got this. Got this. Uh, just go. I hear that there's good stuff down there at the end. Nothing seems to happen. You got to You got a double arm soccer thrower back in. <laughs> she, she's, she's, just, no, she's, she's, right. she's in the field of the explosion, like where it happened. Okay. Not, nothing's happening to Clarice. All right. All right, uh, John. I'm going to very carefully move forward towards the door. With my uh, shield up like this. Okay. No. No. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be looking for metal. Okay. No. No. No effects. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the door and I'm going to look for anything that might trigger it to open. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Damn. So, I can't believe you're still alive. <laughs> uh, that was so much damage. Oh my god. Uh let me just I think there is, but I just want to check a thing real quick just so I don't give you the wrong description here. Give me a second, okay? Mm -hmm. Pause this game. Uh -huh. the recording or um no 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 where's the recording? Okay, fine. While while we're doing that, I haven't looked at our new death rules in a while. 
And I don't want to be that guy, but I think it's. Stop talking. I think it. I think it sucks. Talking. I think it sucks beyond just the one hit point. Stop talking. You can stop now. He's not going to stop. One hit point, right? I did one hit point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But isn't isn't there another effect? Isn't. Oh, the Jesus random ability Christ, score. Matt, You're right. God damn it. You're right. <laughs> you are that guy. I don't want to be that guy, but I actually do want to be that guy. I'm just going to be that, that Just be that a guy. little bit of that guy. That just a little too. bit of that guy. Hold on, though. Hold yeah, on. I mean, to, yeah, be yeah, fair, to be fair, if if he hadn't said it, someone in the comments would. Oh, definitely, yeah. Yep. Somebody would uh, have. Just, just ask our wand of Cone of Cold about that. I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you are, man. I don't know who you are, but apparently. Okay. Just 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 think, David, you were like one roll away from actually being able to use that again. <laughs> Sorry about that. So okay. So there is uh so Goran, when you walk up there, first of all, what you can see is that there are small um uh, in the wreckage of what just occurred, you can see that there are on either side of of the corridor next to the door, um uh actually about ten feet back from the door there are the points of origin of where those mines were, right? Like you can see like the scorch marsh just like radiate outwards from, from two point from two points on either side of the wall. Okay. Then when you get closer to the actual door on the left hand side of the wall, like right to the side of the door, there is a panel that is separate from the rest of like the seamless now blackened plasteel corridor. Um, that is also slightly blackened, but doesn't look to have been overly damaged. It just more looks like it was scorched. Um, there is a, um, uh, like a rectangular palm size blank panel. Okay. With no buttons or any like no okay. No but no buttons at all, unfortunately. Shits and grins, John. I'm gonna take out Clavum, which is in lockpick form. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna touch Clavum to the panel. Doesn't work, unfortunately. Yeah. It's good. Is good that work to try. Yep. That panel's not the same size as our single teleport square, is it? No. Good question. Okay. It's more like rectangular. Like it looks yeah. like a, like if you held up like um like a modern day um uh lanyard card. security card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What um, have we got that would be a security card? We have don't we have a oh no no we don't have a white piece of plastic, do we? Let's go Didn't somebody back. find one? Ted's hoping we forget, but let's let's go back. And I need uh, both Ted and David to roll a D6. <laughs> and that D6 is down the line. Uh, so one is strength and six is charisma. Who is I that? I rolled four. That was me. So that That's is dexterity. strength. Dexterity. That's dexterity. Okay, so you're going to lose what... one, one point of dexterity. <clears throat> and that is permanent. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does that, does that take you down a crap like a... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, <laughs> brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we love the rules, don't we? Oh, yes. Remember, it was me who brought you back to life, so there you go. <laughs> Lysion giveth and Lysion taketh away. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> just, you know, it's something to remember him by. You know, he just doesn't want you to forget. Yep. Uh, John, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put my grubby dwarven paw on that panel with uh, my shield up over my head like that. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing happens. Okay. Right. So, uh, no, it's what no if point. I touch clave him to the actual door? <laughs> Nothing happens. Sorry. Didn't one of us find a white piece of plastic? Um... We did. It was in the control panel in the middle, and. Somehow that's how we learned to, to get it to talk or something like that. We kept that, we right? had We had the uh, 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 potion of uh, speaking languages. I think well, that's how it. I read it. But at some point, we actually had a white piece of plastic. Yeah, we inserted it, and it told us about like the the guys in the um in the right. pods. So we Gorn, have that, right? Gorn, your experimentation took a turn. Thank you. I'm looking... Can I use what the question finger? Was that? Can I use the finger we found to press it against the plate? The finger dead from the dead, finger? Uh, dead light. Yes. <laughs> Let's see if anything happens, John. Nothing happens, unfortunately. And it's very oh, gruesome okay. to watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking okay, on on weird. <laughs> so you said you said like a, a, a sheer plate, right? It's a sheer plate. 
Yeah, it's like a little projection out on the wall, you know. Oh. It's like a virtual projection. No, 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 no. It's like it's like an actual projection that comes out of the plastic. Like the plastic is like seamless, right? Like there's nothing marring it except for this brand new scorch mark, right? But then there's like this slight little bump out that is in the form of like a like a you know like a small rectangle. John, is there any way to wedge? Um, I have a crowbar. Well, I have down a chisel on the as well. Sheet. Yeah. Uh, is we there any way to wedge a crowbar into in between the uh, sphincter panels and try and <laughs> jimmy that bastard open? You can try. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna try. Okay. How about you? Everyone want to stand back when he does that because I think yeah. I will. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm, I'm going on, to do that I'm as well. Go on. Ooh, Avaricius, can you give me a thick pair of uh, leather gauntlets to wear? Uh, How about- I already I already have those gloves. You can have the gloves that I already have. Okay. How about Yost does it with an 18 strength instead of Gorand with less? That's fine. That's fair. I'm the one with the crowbar, though. Whoa. Well. <laughs> fine, fine. Yost will just stand behind you and wait. No, no, it's crow- fine. Come here, Yost. Right, I got a crowbar, it. too. You want to use two of them? I, can I add one other thought? I think you should do this, but one other thought for the year. Dwarven, master of stone, master of architecture, right? You can see through the plasteel, practically. Um, try to pry the door. Is it possible, I don't know, to try to pry the panel? And if there's any sort of machinery, I could like cast heat on it and try to like fry the machinery or something like that. Yeah, I was thinking that too, but I guess my concern was is that if we break it and then we find a plastic piece of square somewhere else, like we're kind of humped, you know, just a little bit. We do have a locate object spell. We could try and locate the plastic square. It's going to be on the other side of the door. It will (laughs) be the closest it's going to be on the other side. It's yeah. true. And let's just, I, let's start with, I don't know exactly like what that is. Like I Right. Fair enough. Well, I, right. I was thinking we would ask like where is the key to this door? And key I think can, we should, is, is a you know key, key card is obviously not like a skeleton key. They're very different things, but it's still a key. It opens right. the door. So Yeah, okay. But we wouldn't want to do it here because if it's on the other side, that's where it would ping. And then we'd be screwed. Well, if that's where the key is, then that's where the key is. Well, there may be more than one, right? (laughs) Yeah, it's true. That's saying, though, like if it does happen to be on the other side of the door, that doesn't get you anywhere. Yeah. No, but if the only key is on the other side of the door anyway, it doesn't get us anywhere regardless. So very true. Very true. Let's try the crowbar. Crowbar. All right. Goran gives the crowbar to Yost. Yes. We 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 have two crowbars, so both of us are going to do it. Oh, excellent. All right. Crowbar's out. And you wedge it into the parts of the iris there, and you, uh, Yost gets to, he's, he's ready, man. He fucking gets his, you know, gets the biceps going. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you heave with all of your might. Um, each of you, so we'll say Gorn and Yost both have, uh, can roll a d6. If you roll a one on the d6, you're successful. You, oh, not for Gorn. So no for no modifier for strength? Nothing, no. Okay. So, yeah, right. unfortunately, you can't. It's uh, Yost, uh, Yost looks shamed. He's like, I put all my force behind it. Any normal door would have opened. All right, now, all right, all right. I see okay, the you guys. Why, why I see you the guys... problem. Mort is a previously experienced door opener and has that, that magic touch, right? Don't drop Give it on the... your toe. I'll probably drop it on my toe and die. <laughs> but but Mort knows the secret of these things. Yeah. Having already opened the bronze doors and saved our bacon one time. Can Mort give it a go? Go for or it. Or we kind of, yeah. yeah. I got closer. I rolled All a three right. instead of a five. All <laughs> right. Neil's, get, Neil's got these kids. He's just oh, been watching, right. kind of sitting back there. Action. Relax. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to walk right on up there, jam that in there. Right. Watch, like, watch kids. This is pulling the sword out, man. This is this is how it's this is He's how it's done. Tired, this, though, which didn't get his didn't get his beauty rest last night. Well, see now, see this will get a get earn him his rations. He's oh! see, that's how he, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you beautiful bastard. He's like, He's just I like yep. coffee, but it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Once right. again, the NPCs prove they're the best of us. <laughs> look, look. Uh, All right, of course, gets of it course in, the hick he, in the room. Sorry, go ahead. He 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 uh, he sticks it in there and yanks with all of his might you can see his muscles bulging and then um 
uh, finally you, you, it just, it wrenches open and you can see like the entire iris sort of um, the mechanism like basically causes the entire iris to open just a little bit, right? But it's very, very small. So like the center part is forced open just like, like a little bit and you could fit like a head through there. Oh yeah, who's sticking their head through there? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, All right. All right. What here's we the need uh, now is um there's darkness beyond. We need a uh uh basically like a um what's it called? A uh turnbuckle. We put a turnbuckle in there and rotate it and the screws get farther and farther apart and force the, the iris open. Laurel sac, okay. laurel sac. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got I've one got of one those. Of those. Too you got a big That's too complex. I'm not gonna. Happen. <laughs> right. Too All complex. Right. It's one of the most simple thing. It's two screws and a piece of metal. No, it's the world's most. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> the sack is not a, a, an answer for everything. Sorry. All right. Uh, then what we need is. Um, so it's open a about landmine. This. Mm -hmm. Are there more landmines on the wall? We could pull them off and put them in the hole and blow the door. Yep. We can we can we can figure this out. We're gonna figure this out. Uh, oh man, uh, I gotta look at the uh, mundane equipment list real quick. John, if the well, um, is the door trying to close again, or has he busted it? He's busted it. Okay, so good, good, it's good. not closing anymore. Then. It's not closing. So he can pull the thing up. That actually is good because that allows us to work on it. So what we have two crowbars. What if we kind of put the two crowbar hooks in on the other side, and then we have. Two people on each side try to wrench the opening open just a little bit more. Yep. Or. Okay. So I would say like, if you want to do the crowbar force maneuver again, any sort of aspect of that, it would require multiple people. Like, so it would require both. It, basically it would be one more roll, a single roll, no matter how many people put you put behind it. And it would be another one, one in six chance to get it open mm -hmm. enough, far enough that you could actually throw a body through there. Okay. But before we try that, there's only before one we try. try. Yeah, exactly. Before we try that, let's let's hit our heads together. Can Matt that's a, that's also a shine his light in there and see? Yeah, that's what it. I was going to suggest. Let's take a look. Yeah, I just hold my uh, hold the light and take a look. Okay. We well, might not want it open anymore. <laughs> so you're not you're not putting your head through. You're not putting the lantern through. You're literally just holding the lantern up to the opening, right? Yeah, so looking through the hole like this through. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you shine your light in there it's darkness nothing seems to respond to the presence of the light however what you see in there is something like you, you thought you were prepared because you know the general sort of architecture that you're dealing with but what your light shines is you see before you a massive massive oval chamber huge and high uh it's about 25 feet tall at its center point and obstructing your view directly in front of you, taking up the vast majority of that hall are two enormous winged vehicles. You can, and you're looking at the back of them. It has huge, massive exhaust ports on the back end. You don't know what you're looking at. The first thing you think from your pseudo medieval uh, upbringing is like you're looking at like resting beasts, you know, like winged, winged uh, beasts that are just sort of dormant until you realize like, wait a second, these are, these look like chariots of some sort or, or you know, or, or modes of transportation. What am I looking at here? You know, do they fly? They have wings, but it's made out of metal. What? So we're not looking at the prison chamber. No, we're looking at the hangar. <laughs> we're somewhere else. Oh, Whoa. Okay, so there's a no, lot of and, alien shit. I thought, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so um, you're that's reaching basically like 30 feet with your lantern light. So, but your the the edge of your lantern light is illuminating the back of two of these huge winged vehicles. So you're basically like illuminating like the the huge like uh, you know it, I, mean, right. I don't know my sci-fi that well, but exhaust ports in the back. Yeah, um, yeah. The next the back. Yeah. 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 Um and. Uh, and so you can't even see like the front of the vehicles at all, or what's beyond in the in the hangar itself. But, um, but uh, uh, yeah, that's what you see. And John, just to be clear, you keep saying lantern, but it's his daylight, like it's yeah, daylight, but it's, light. it's still thirty. It's feet, still right? thirty. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Okay. It's so just, it's just really bright. Sorry, yeah. No clue on where the breeze is coming from. 
it appears to be coming from uh you know what like, does opening this iris like create I, I more breeze? I, I was describing the breeze from last session assuming that the iris door was open from the massive amount of space in the hangar but um, wow. the, the, the breeze would not have been there i'm sorry oh yeah but so now we're feeling a breeze now you're feeling a breeze yeah now you're feeling a breeze <laughs> okay. that was my mistake okay. that was my mistake yeah yeah. Oh my uh, God! And, and the vehicles, by the way, are a little bit offset. So the one to Avaricios's left, so the one furthest east, is a little bit closer, and then the one that is to his right, which is a little bit further west, is a little bit f pushed forward. So I don't. Kind I don't of, even know how to draw this. <laughs> I you, you can't because you, you're not getting the dimensions at all, right? The lantern has yeah. not been pushed through the door at all. Uh. All right, but so before I before okay, I I'm gonna stick my head through the hole. <laughs> On where when you stick your head through the hole, you You're hear like a pink, 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 and as it happens, uh, as you hear this, lights like douche, douche, doom, 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 douche, 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 and everything lights up in a steady like wow. LED, you know, cold fluorescent light, just like, and you see like the massive scope of this thing. Now we can draw a map as it seems to have registered oh, the presence of a, of a organic life form in the room. All right. I suppose Ten. that causes the iris to open. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Or onto so what I'm trying to try is, is there like a lever or a switch on the other side? Yeah, that that's what I'm going to look for. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's a basic oval chamber, uh, Mort, um, and it is a, um, uh, 110, so 11 squares east to west. Okay. Are we straight in the center? Uh, I'll let you know in a second. Just look, I'll give you the dimensions. Don't start drawing until I give you the whole. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Just kind of keep it in mind. Or, or, or just draw it down. You know what I mean? Or even on a piece of paper, like lightly sketch it out, and then you can permanently do it on the thing. Um, so it is 110 feet east to west, and it is one, two, three, four, five, six, sixty feet north to south. Yeah. And then you just kind of want to round the corners. Okay. Cause it's oval. So it's not an oval. It's like a rounded rectangle. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. You are coming in 40 feet from the western end on the northern side. Okay. The door is the 40 or the door is the 50? The door is the 40. Door is the 40. Yep. There is a massive vehicle that takes up one, two, three, about 40 feet long. That is in the direct center of the chamber. There is a, another slightly smaller but otherwise identical vehicle winged that is uh, 30 feet west of that vehicle and, and about 20 feet further south. So it's a little bit offset. Okay. And it's it, smaller, you said? Slightly smaller. Just slightly smaller. So it's about um, one, two, 30 three, feet? About 35 feet. Um, actually, you know All what? Right. I think my, I'm having an optical illusion. I think they're both the same size. Sorry. Okay, fine. Uh, um, so, okay. Now they are, you're seeing the back of them. So I'm not going to give you a complete description, but you can see that they have large lateral wings, two on either side that are swept back. And then they also have like tail fins as well near the top. Um, and then a huge bank of exhaust fans, uh, exhaust ports on the, on the direct rear, which is what you're looking at right now. Um, in front of them, all the way in front of the far south, southern side, directly in the center of the thing, is a huge iris door. Massive. It takes, up about, it, it takes up about 30 feet. It's like a 30-foot diameter hatchway uh, I, iris door that is closed. The hangar fucking escapes through the waterfall. 30-foot diameter? <laughs> yeah. They yeah. fly out of the fucking waterfall. This is wild. <laughs> like Thundercats, dude. We, and we, literally, we, that's exactly what I thought. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> we just fucking found Voltron. The, they're, um, wild. Totally wild. There is a... It, elsewhere in the room, basically towards the east, but also scattered around the floor, there is a maze of high technology equipment, like stuff that you're just like, what the fuck is this? Like, it's, it's the same reaction that you had when you walked into the... Into the uh, cryo chamber right um there is uh so the east side of the bay has um lots of impressive and complicated machinery um there are most of the machinery is connected via thick cables to outlets in the floor um and 
there's insane looking stuff like uh, like other smaller little vehicles that you would assume uh you're not i i, I don't want to give you you just it's all foreign objects to you like both small yep. and large you know just tons of shit everywhere um there does appear to be okay there's like a, a like a dozen oval storage th bins that almost look have like egg shapes because it, it, they're very like everything doesn't nothing really has like a lot of angles everything's sort of curved right so um and you see that some of the these egg storage things are open and there is an um uh there is uh mineral in there that you sort of recognize it's orangish in color arcanum uh, um and let's see uh what else is there okay um in addition you can hear as the lights turn on and you're kind of observing this on where right um and you probably would have instinctively sort of jerked your head back just a little bit because when the lights turned on just for out of surprise right um you can see hovering around all that technology in the eastern part of the room you see something move oh it's one of the death bots it is you hear like a scan oh those suck yeah um as an imperial probe droid rises out of the technology and so you can see its roving sensors start to like just sort of start to scan around um you can also see that it it, it it looks like that um interrogator bot from start from new hope you know what i'm talking about yep mm -hmm. in, the oh, yeah, yeah. in the detention so it looks like that's black and has like all sorts of weird things on it and you can see like there's a little spark like a that's kind of coming out of one end of it that's causing it to sort of like it's grab center is sort of like causes it to jostle a little bit in the air like something's wrong with it, it doesn't look like uh it's in perfect form like the other one was oh well that's good do you see a weapons locker david do i no. see a weapons locker Tom? but I, I did have a crazy idea just now but maybe irrelevant <laughs> if i get blasted uh Rope Trek has a portal at the top of it. How big is the aperture of that portal? Uh, is that what? like something that's the fun? It doesn't really say anything. Like, is, is there like a precedent that I'm unaware of, right? Like you disappear into like a space at the top of the rope, mm -hmm. correct? How do we interpret that space existing? Oh, you want to do half on this side and half on the other side. I want to do side. half on this side and half on that side and climb up the rope and climb down the other side through the portal if I can cast it right at the edge. It's a really cool idea, but it's literally just an extra dimensional space. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's not like the game portal, right? You know what I mean? It's oh, yeah, shit. You know, yeah, yeah, I thought I'd try. Yeah. <laughs> what happens if Laryl Sack goes into rope trick? Please. Please, please <laughs> experiment with that. <laughs> I'm just saying, in, in general, that's like that's like crossing the screams level of bad. Oh my god! I'm glad you thought of that. Okay, so on here, as you're observing this and you're looking at that that droid come out of the of the technology, right? You can see, you can hear like a uh, some sort of um, clicking going on, and then you see a red scanning beam just go like and not not like the thing like the like the straight beam that an ex that killed an examander this is like a wide red like sensing beam right and it starts I to, pull out. It starts to like, scan vertically and horizontally as it goes it's, and it's coming closer yeah, to we've you we've all seen that like when, they're, <laughs> like when they do the salvage at the start of aliens 2 yeah yeah okay so i have so many thoughts that could go terribly awry uh uh we're a model of success around here so I know, you know. I know, I know. i'm gonna i'm gonna start i'm gonna start spitballing as quickly as i can i haven't fully like realized any of these ideas but bear with me uh we could try to bait this thing over and have it open the door through its own destructiveness right and then kill we could us? try to we could try to grappling hook it and like fish it in against the the aperture and just have it go crazy i don't know what that would achieve i'm just throwing these things out right yep, yep, or death. Yep. Um, I can try to like find a lever on either side of this door uh, yes. and keep looking, but it's scanning right now, so we have to wait, right? Um, you could probably uh, go invisible. I mean, it shot a laser, right? Like we could, I could try invisible, but I don't know if it's like infra. I, it's a good thing to test, so I think I should try it at some point. Visibility actually does protect you from uh, infravision. So, really? yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. so 
otherwise it wouldn't be that useful. And we never would have made it through monkey town if that had not been the case. So like, I guess the question is, is does it have something else that would allow it to sense you? Besides vision. vision. I can test that that out right now. But you You can, but but should we focus on trying to get the door open or just not use the invisibility yet? Well, I would the, the reason why well, three invisibilities because we slept. I know, but but like the only reason I'm su- we don't have to agree on this. The only reason I'm suggesting the potential, for instance, of baiting it and fighting it while the door is partially closed is that's an enormous amount of cover for us. And the minute the yep. door is open, it's blasting free with with a with a head sized aperture. It targeting us is really hard, and us taking shots at it and then ducking back is pretty advantageous to us. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah, yep. yeah. No, that part I agree with. I just don't think you need to be invisible to do that. Oh, maybe not. I'm just saying, like, if we want to, if we want to try to engage with this, we actually have a great advantage in engaging with it while this is closed, yeah. unless it can open it. At which point, it has opened it for us to get to us, and we should yeah. run in and try to push it on the other side and just, you know, split for the other side of the room or something. You're right. Like, well, there's it doesn't. We, we didn't see any other. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we didn't see any other way out. Well, there's a large iris door, but we don't know how to open it, right? Yeah. And and yeah. at yeah. best, it's it's probably a duck and roll thing. But it is likely that this thing has clearance to open these doors, right? Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it. If we so have the right. door beyond repair. Okay. A net is a net extractable from Laura's roll sack. Or like I, a have, sheet. I have a couple. No, we've got we've got nets. So uh, what if what if we one, Elizabeth has one? What if what if we pull a net out and get a bunch of really large stones? tether them to sides of the net, bait this thing over, hope that it opens the door with its technology and try to net it down to the ground and make yeah. a run for it. Is that something yeah. you want to try? Or, or is that too crazy? Or just beat the out of it. Yeah, or just beat that, it. yeah either. but it'll be firing. You know, It's the predator at that point, and I don't know how long it'll stay in the net. But also we could try to blind it with a sheet as well. I don't know what we can do with the sack, but I don't know. <laughs> I love this. Also, can I just point out that two of the people in the party have nets, but they don't have food. <laughs> well, I mean, I got really hungry when uh, Mort got cooked a little bit. It smelled like the long pig, you know. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> All right, I love David's idea. All right, you try yeah. and bait it. We'll get the nets out and then just grapple the shit out of it if it comes through. I, I just have one question, which is a little bit off topic, but hey, John, yes. would our own spaceship count as a safe haven? Uh, <laughs> I guess it would depend on the spaceship. Depends on what you do with and it. And then we play spell jammer. <laughs> I, I had another. I had another good idea for this, but it okay. only will last a turn. If you guys want a relatively safe way for the three of you to drop the net on this, I have rope trick that only lasts a turn. But if you want to be above waiting, right? literally right above the opening you could just drop it right on him and not even be oh there you within, go i like that within the targeting range go ahead Mike, I, rope, rope, I, I, I say save that dude let's just stand on either side of the door with the nets all right cool save that because that's that's an escape if everything else goes bad then we can get up there and just hopefully it'll go away well and to that point great point okay we don't need to play this all out the hypothetical because john will probably let's just run it let's do it right now but uh, the duration of that might make it stop scanning us, and we can use that to try to escape again. Anyway, okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's right, do this. Do Let's do? do it right now. All right, so it, I, I think maybe a good way to lure it over, we can take pot shots at it with Shrieker. It's really loud. It's going to attract its attention. Might hit it. Okay. Might do not. It. Do it. We Should have we tethered several. Is it okay for us to tether several heavy stones to this net, like as many as we can? Is that possible, John? Uh. Yeah, it's going to take a turn, though. Okay, yeah, let's spend a turn doing that. Okay. Let's spend a turn doing that, because we're in a rough hewn cave, right? So we can get, like, detritus. I have a chisel if I need to get it, if that, that helps. Let's Just so it's a really weighted thing, because I don't know how much thrust this thing has, but it's already fizzling a bit, right? Like, it was kind of... Right. So let's I think go. that'll be good. Let's go, let's go, let's do it. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we're not in combat, so if anyone wants to attack it, you can just go ahead and do it. All right, all right. Like a ranged uh, weapon or something. Yeah, so he's, uh, it's missile. What's the range uh, on he, it? Um, uh, that, I have to check again. Uh, let's draw it over here first. I will yell through the hole. I'll be like, um, you know, hey, robot, come on over here and roast my buttocks. I can also, 
This I love this. 40, 80, 160. Uh, one, two, three. So it's going to be medium range. So you're going to be at a normal attack bonus. Okay. Uh, so that uh, I'm at a minus one right now. So regular is plus three. So it's a plus two to hit. Okay. So it has an AC of um, uh, a lot, actually. <laughs> John, John, can I actually, speaking of, sorry. Uh, can I cast Heat with Chromatic Orb, which suffers a negative pen penalty to all attack saves and AC for 1d4 rounds on the target uh, as the instigating, and then you attack immediately thereafter, Matt? Or is that like a simultaneous great. thing that's we can idea. do? Yeah, I can wait. I have to make a saving throw versus spells. I don't know if it'll work on this, but it's Heat, it's Metal, maybe it'll fuck with its You're sensors. You're just at the edge of the range of that spell, which is a good... Um... Uh, the orb hits unerringly. Okay, heat. This is the the ru the ruby. The ruby, yes. Uh, if target fails to save versus spell. Sorry, you can read it. I think this Got is it. your first chromatic orb. It is. Okay, you bring out the ruby. Um, okay, so that's we're doing this instead of shrieker. Is that the plan? Oh, he's yeah. going to cast the spell, and then I'm going to do shrieker, so I get the bonus. Okay. You said so, I get a he, yeah, yeah. The moment he gets a minus two, right? The moment that you would, when the spell is cast, we're in combat. After the after the spell is okay. cast, you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Onward. So you uh, you cast chromatic orb. The, the red orb uh, moves forward, formed out of your ruby, um, and strikes unerringly at the battle bot, and it needs to make a saving throw versus spells. Um, and that's going to be, let's see, duh, duh, duh. sorry, i got to cross-reference a bunch of shit here. No worries. 8, 12, it's going to take a 12 or higher. Um, yeah, let me just check uh, if it's got any special shit. Oh, wait, no, it says as a different thing. See, that's what I'm, so I'm talking about 10 or higher. So, suck it. Here we go. And it fails. <laughs> okay, so it's going to take a minus two penalty as tax saves in AC for 1d4 rounds, which I will roll right now. Excuse me. Got it. Does it do damage too, David? No. No, no, it just, just beats it up. But I have, a, I have another memorization of it if I need to use it for other, other effects. Okay, so the chromatic orb hits it directly, right? Um, it lurches back, and you can see like uh, the uh, the uh, the metal around it starts to glow with a, like a white hot heat, and it's like sparking erratically. Um, and you can see all of its weaponry is produced. Like out of the top of it is that Gauss gun, just like ratchets out, like, and then like out of the sides are like like two uh, two laser guns. It's just like as it's turning around. Um, uh, spell casting. Anybody? No. Roll for initiative. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, you, no? um, yeah. You know what? I will do a spell actually because we're not in melee with the thing yet. I'm going to do bless. Okay. Any, I will do yes. that, and then I'll do the shrieker on the next turn. Um, I'm going to cast. Uh, uh, uh fuck. Gosh, should I do? No, I, I don't believe the illusion will work. I'm going to cast mirror image. Okay. Roll for initiative. I got a three. I'll do it. I got it. Uh, yeah, you rolled uh, first. What? Who, yeah. who rolled? What was uh, it? You and I tied, John. Oh, tied? Okay. I got a six. I got it. Damn it. Okay. So close. No, can I just clarify? The iris is still only like partway open. Yes. It's like head yeah. shots. Yeah. Chromatic orb through that hole, mm -hmm. and it's on the other side freaking out, and now apparently aware that we're here. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Okay. So it rotates around, right? And it's like, blah, blah, blah. it's like white hot. It's really irritated and mad. Um, and it immediately like it focuses in on the on the hole that you guys are peering through, and it whips itself, and it moves with lightning quick speed over to the hole. Vroom lines up and just goes <laughs> like just like just mowing down <laughs> right into the hole. <laughs> Good thing I'm three feet tall. 
Yeah, good, yeah we good definitely point. were standing on either if side. We of the if we didn't make it clear, we are not standing in front of the hole. Yeah. Well, where are you exactly then? I mean, to the side. It's a big door. I'm like standing yeah, over. Had, well, they're hitting. Yeah, go ahead. We had already talked about like luring it to the the hole and standing, standing on, on the sides. Okay, yeah, all right. Fair nets, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So several people have a net. I'm assuming. And we're hoping that it'll try to come through the door with whatever tech it has. That's the, that yeah, well, was the we, okay. So it is uh, we have bigger. Two. It is much bigger yeah. than the hole, but it is oh. right. In front, it's about five feet back from from the from the opening, and it's just unloading with its gas gun. Just right. And, but and it's you guys are like, what the, the hole. like, you haven't seen this yet. All you've seen is that beam, <laughs> right? Which right. also so, like sucks. the noise and like like the the bullets that are just coming in. You know what I mean? Just like ripping up like the hallway. Just. You're just like, what the fuck is going? On? You, know, I mean, you can imagine what a medieval oh person would think of like this, you know. Um, but but just to clarify, it's bigger than the hole, but smaller than the total iris opening. If the door were to open, it could come in. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, okay, okay cool. yeah. Cool. So, is it kind of person any sized, basically? No, picture the picture like the interrogation bot from Star so Wars. I mean, that's eighteen to twenty-four uh, inches across. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know, yeah, something like that. Yeah. I don't know. It's a it's a big Person. ball of death. The DM man, <laughs> <laughs> you don't know who does. All right, um, I bless my I bless my friends. Lysion, it's got you, Galas. We're all going to do really great. Okay, I'm gonna roll one d four for mirror image. Oh, go ahead. Dad. Yeah, go ahead, Onward. I'll, and then my question. Nice. Three nice. duplicates of me. Three duplicates. Great. Right. Just doing it. All right. Um, and you're feeling pretty good from Lysion's blessing. Okay. If I were to drink a potion. How how fast? Uh, that's my action. Does it is it instantaneous? The effect yes. of the potion? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So bless gives you plus one to hit uh, attack of damage morale. Instant. Okay. Got it. All right. Um, You're ready to do. That was the top of the round. It won, right? Um, and you guys cast your spells and everything. So that's it, yep. right? Or is, anyone yep. else, yes. or, is, or is this when the net happening? Is the net's going to happen? We're waiting well, no, for it to come. That only happens if it comes through the door. door. It is not yep. going to come through the door. It can't fit. We're we're waiting waiting. It might be able to open the it or not. Speculation was that it might have a protocol to open the door if it was trying to pursue us. Gotcha. Okay. All right. That so was top, top of the round. Um, spells. Anybody? No spells. Uh, stop. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's, I'm not pressuring you, Dave. If you do, you want to cast a spell? Mm. Uh, 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 no, it's fine. Okay, I rolled a six. You want me to roll? I'm ready. I'll do. I'll I'll do it. I'll do it. Well, six. It's a three. Okay, so it wins. Um, it stays right where it is, kind of hovering and sparking. Um, and it's really, really irritated. It's really. How long does that thing last for um, chromatic orb? It was uh, wasn't it one d four plus something? Yeah, you, you ran. Oh, the, I rolled. You rolled yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'll mark that down. Um, yeah, so it's still overheating and not feeling great and now it's got its sensors out and those sensors are like blipping like you know but it's scanning through and like a little bit of that red light like penetrates through the hole um, yeah. uh, but you guys are like crouched up against the wall and it yeah. can't quite read you um, it does not I, again though can I grab a rock and throw it down the hall as if something is moving away from it not through the hole but behind us to see if it'll right. pursue a sound does it make sense yeah makes uh, sense to me yeah, you could do that. I mean, it's a little outside of the it. combat sequence, but but yeah, you could toss a little, a little rock, and um, it uh, it uh, it picks it up immediately. We'll say we'll, we'll just do this for illustration's sake, even though it's like not really in the scope of the combat sequence. But um, it picks it, it reads it, it picks it up, and just like immediately, like, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, and just for flavor's sake, we'll say it obliterates it. Although it would technically have to make a attack roll. John, is any damage occurring at the aperture because this gauze cannon is so fucking powerful and it's shooting at metal? Would no. it maybe start to warp and eat it? No. Unfortunately not, because it's only five feet away. So any spray yeah. would happen like afterwards, you know what I mean? But the bullets okay. aren't hitting the door at all. It's shooting through the hole. It's shooting through the hole, yeah. Okay. okay. With unpleasant accuracy. <laughs> yeah, very unpleasant. Oh okay, we live here now. <laughs> uh, um, so... Uh, it is about time, right? We don't. Yeah, we, you're not like really engaged in combat, so I wouldn't actually say like we like where we would pick it up mid mid combat. You know, you're sort of at a standoff, right? It can't get to you. You really can't get to it, really. Um, I mean, can I can I whip my uh, my slingshots at it? Can I with um, uh, shrieker? You can certainly. Yeah, missile attacks will work. 
Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I mean, that is, that is my intention. Okay. So we, so, I mean, we can do that, but when we come that, back, that, no, that's the bottom of the round. So we can finish off the round with like any, any missile attacks anyone has. We can, we can do okay. that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to kill this thing in one shot. Go for it. So now oh, it's, it's it's AC twenty two. <laughs> what? <I got this. laughs> uh, all right. But, uh, see, I've got blessed, so it's all going to be okay. Well, you know. Okay. Uh, so they, yeah. that gets gets me back up to a uh, a mighty plus three. Up to three. Here you know, nineteen or twenty, bud. It's easy. Oh, so Ooh. close. Oh, so close. 18. 18, okay. Not a bad roll, but uh, yeah. Any other monster probably do no problem at all, but uh, not this guy. Uh -huh. uh, so Shrieker, like, and once again, like, when Shrieker lets loose and misses and it rockets off into the hangar, like, you, it echoes everywhere in that bay, like, whee, you know, just um, as it disappears off into the darkness. Uh, and yeah, we'll call it, we'll, we'll say it's the end of the round. Um, and we'll just call it like the end of the combat. Like right? we'll start things up again. If you know, if you want to be aggressive next time. Yeah, sure. I mean, we could, we could put sure. a, like a little hanky over the hole or something so it can't see us anymore. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah. Um, can I ask one question before we close? Not that we would be able to see this really, but like when the, I mean, it's a gauze can. I don't know when the the weapons all came out. I wouldn't understand what ammo was, though. I don't. I mean, I wouldn't yeah, fucking know really. what a clip was. It's hard. You know, I we mean, could try to exhaust its ammo reserve and maybe it'll like drain its battery, but I don't know if that's possible. Yeah, I was thinking. That I, I had the same thought too, and I was just like, I mean, there's probably, I <laughs> probably know it could be shooting for a century and never run out of juice. Yeah, you could totally <laughs> meta it. Like it's impossible. Like don't play your character. You know, it would just be annoying to try to play your guys as only medieval people who don't know what they're looking at, you know, just go ahead and use the knowledge that you have. It's no, not okay. a big deal. Um, I, mean, I, I don't even know what's happening. So <laughs> <laughs> fair. Yeah, fair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. So uh, yeah, cool. cool, cool, cool ending. Not I, where I expected you guys to end up, but wow. What a revelation, right? You uh, wanted us all to be dead. That's what you wanted. Well, you know, uh, uh, he was got a couple of you. <laughs> got, got a little hairy there for a second, but it was good shit. All right, everybody. Amazing. Hope you, hope you enjoy that episode. Uh, you've been watching 3D6 down the line. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to make sure that you can get notifications every time we put up something new. And don't forget to also tune into the detox, which we're about to drop into momentarily. Um, that comes out a couple days later. And in the meantime, I hope everyone has a wonderful week, and we will see you all next time. Have a great night, everybody. Take care. Bye, you guys. Thanks, Thank you, John.